ever there. Hello everybody, damn it, and welcome to another stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. That's me, I'm Johnny Chiodini. And today, goodness me, we're gonna be playing some Astroneer. Um if you've never played Astroneer before, um you're in for a real treat. This is a game that I honestly didn't think I was going to like at all. Because I'm not normally into games where you're exploring and gathering resources so you can build a thing. Survival games, basically. I'm not, not into them. Um, but during the first lockdown in 2020, my friends were like, well, we might give this a go. And I played a bit and I was like, I hate this. Um, and then uh, I played a bit more and was like, oh, no, I love this. And my friends and I played it loads in co-op during the first lockdown. Like, loads. Um, just exploring new planets and moons and building things and stuff. And today I couldn't, I couldn't work out where on earth... Um, where on earth? What on earth? I wanted to stream. And I thought, it's been a bit of a hectic week. It's been so hot that my my brain has been doing somersaults. Let's play something chill. And I thought, Astroneer. Um, so hello to everybody in chat. Um, oh, including Will, who says, Yo, I love that shirt. Where to cop? Uh, yeah, this t-shirt. Uh, sisters, not just sisters, which also has a full bag print. Um... I got it from a shop on Etsy, but if you look on Instagram at Black Paper UK, um, you can see uh, all sorts of lovely goods um, that are just good and nice and worth your attention. So there you go. Right, okie dokie then. Let us start a new adventure game. Um, I hope the audio is okay. The game might be a little bit loud. It's a little bit loud in my ears, actually. So I'm going to bring it down in the mix ever so slightly. But um, if that's a problem, just let me know. Ah, here we go. And I'm going to be rusty at this. I haven't played this in two years. So thank you for dropping the link, Will, uh, to that Etsy shop if you want to have a look yourself. Here we go. Completed planet form. Fall. We've arrived on silver. Let's exit the dropship. New mission, Astroneering Basics. Okie doke. Okie dokie, right. There's a bit of static audio. There's some white noise going on. That's weird. That shouldn't be there. Lots of static. This happens sometimes with the Elgato. Are you getting any game audio at all? Hang on, let me crank the game audio. Uh-oh. I don't think you're getting game audio. I think you're just getting static. I know it's... Yeah, okay. Game audio was there. Okay. Game audio, yes. How about now? Static is gone, but are you getting game audio? Is there without static? Okay, great. Static gone, game audio gone for me now. It's alright, just low. Okay, let's turn it up. How, how about now? Is the game louder? Are you getting static? Static is back. The, the Elgato does this sometimes. Audio is great like this. Static returns when you turn it up. Game is louder, hiss is back. Okay, I'm going to turn that up to be uncomfortably loud in my ears. And then, hopefully this will be enough. So, I've done one more adjustment. Let me know how it's going. Perfect, says Pietro P. Okay, alright. Great, great, great. Nothing quite like... One second.
nothing quite like um, audio issues to completely fuck the momentum at the start of a stream. I love it. Uh, the Kesling has done a super chat, super sticker rather, of uh, our good friend the Massive Pear who loves to kill. Uh, they've written fist and bump on their um, knuckles and they're punching at the screen, um, which suggests possibly I'm going to beat you to death and then put your mug in your blood in a mug. Um, right, anyway, Astroneer. Astroneer, you traverse alien worlds, as it says. Um, with WASD, you run with shift, space to jump. You can view your surroundings with right clicks, zoom in and out with the middle mouse button. Uh, click on things to find them, to, to interact with them, including picking them up, and you can stow things with F. Okay, so this is the shelter. You can jump in the shelter or jump out of the shelter, which is great fun. Uh, what does this do again? Mission log. Examine. Okay. Ready to collect. Item. Oxygenator and a small printer. Unpack oxygenator. Install oxygenator on shelter. Connect printer power to shelter. Retrieve starting gear from landing pad. Okie dokie. How do? God, it has been a while since I played this. Is that the landing pad? Let's find out. So, when you go too far away from your oxygen supply, uh, it your tanks take over, basically. Um, aha! Uh, but when you get close to a structure, you tether to it and you can breathe. So there we go. Um, but clouded minds. No, not clouded mind. Aiden Folk says, "Is this us? Uh, is this Starfield? Very good." Sarah Francis says, hey Johnny, this is just the pick-me-up I need. We've been busy moving as we managed to buy our first house, brackets, yay, except we also got COVID, which has made moving so much harder. Do not recommend. Yeah, that sounds awful. I'm very, very sorry about that. Um, but congrats on buying a house. That is absolutely wonderful. Uh, oh yeah, salvage. Okay. Oh, you can pick things up. That's right. And then you can store the things. You know what? I think we do actually have to go back over here. Uh, Adrian Overbury has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, momentum might have gone splat, but it is good as always to see your face and hear your voice. Super soothing. Um, thank you very much, Adrian. We'll we'll get it back. And um, Emily Hill has done a super sticker, which is of a, um, a peach, but the shape of the peach and the way the light hits it, I don't know about you, but makes me think of a butt. So there you go. Uh, mission log examine. I mean, for God's sake, right. Unpack oxygenator. Tracked. Oh, okay, there we go. If we track it, then it should give us some information. God, it's been so long. I used to play this constantly. Oh, but I've got some Microsoft points and they won't claim themselves, apparently. So that's good. Honestly, right. Astropedia, Astro Basics, Base Building. Use printers, yada yada yada. Missions, yeah, mission blah blah. Attached to landing pads and Astro Basics for tracking. Claim rewards from completed missions at landing pads via their attached mission log. I don't remember doing this before. Mission log, examine. Aha, planet full. Ready to collect. Collect things. There we go. That's what we're after. So, this is a small printer. Uh, we'll put it down here. This is an oxygenator. Oxygenators are great. We'll put it down here. And then hold F to unpack it. Provides constant oxygen flow to connected tethers, platforms, and cables. So I don't just have to be at the shelter in order to um, use this guy. Uh, I mean, obviously, do I have to turn it on? Yes, I do. God, it's been so long. How can I forget so much of a video game in just two years? It is amazing. Um, mm, 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 mm. The Kesling is on a super chat saying, can't stay, but we'll be sure to enjoy later. Thank you for being awesome and bringing bright spots to people's days, Johnny. You're amazing. Thank you. I do not feel it right now, but I'm sure I will later because I've just remembered how to plug things in. Connect printer power to shelter. That's done. Examine. Now we can print things. But for that, we need compound and all resin. Now the oxygenator... That doesn't need to be powered, I don't think. Right? 
let's hang on. Let's check our mission log again. Ah. Mission log. Examine. Install oxygenator on shelter. Oh, on the actual shelter. Shelter. Oh yes. Look. It plugs into it. I think doesn't it? Where's it gonna go? Install it on the shelter. Those are our battery things. God, you think you know a game? Aha, look, there it is. That's what we need. Oxygenator installed. Tremendous. Completed astroneering basics. New mission, breathing space. So, let's see. Complete. We'll let it fall. Now, we can get the rewards. Oh, the rewards just used to go into your pockets, I think, the last time I played this. Right, tethers are amazing. So we're going to keep hold of those. Um, how do you use the tethers again? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what do we need to do? Examine. Okay. Lights in the distance. Discover a gateway chamber. Locate one of the strange structures emitting a pillar of light. Understood. Mm -hmm. Mankoy says, this looks like it might be the Subnautica I can actually play. So the good thing about this is that it, it doesn't have whales in it. Um, it's got... Uh, hmm. It's got some hostile plant life, but that's about it. So that's okay, to be honest with you. Um, ah, la 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 la. Base building. Crafting. Astroneer basics. How do you place tethers? Action wheel. Yada yada yada. Interaction. Yes, yes, yes. I remember that. Terrain tool. Canister. That's right. Uh, your auxiliary things. So, tethers. Tethers. T. T is for tether. Here we go. So. Which way do we need to go? Right, well, there's a pillar emitting light, we're told. I'm not sure where it is, but what we can do is... Right, so you place a tether. This is what I love about this. And, oh, once you get out of range, boop, you pop down a new tether. And you just keep popping down tethers. And it means that you sort of not only can stay alive by breathing, which is great. Hey, there we go. But also, uh, it gives you these sort of ley lines where you'll set out from your base and somebody, you know, if you're playing co-op, you'll be like, oh, where are you? And somebody will be like, oh, I'm in the big mine. It's like, which one's the big mine? You go, oh, if you follow the tether line right out of the base, that'll, that'll show you. You're like, oh, okay, all right. And it's great. I love it. Uh, there's some debris. We can't, oh, yes, we can. Can we store that? No, we can only carry it. Oops. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, how do you drop things? I don't want to. I don't want to hold this anymore. There we go. That sort of worked. Um, so yeah, it's just like <gasps> detritus. Sergeant detritus. Ah, why did? Hang on one sec. I'm just gonna pop the camera on full face for a second. While I go into um, Discord and quit it on this computer so we don't get that noise again. Oh, criminy. While we were doing that, I started to run out of oxygen. Where are my tethers? Here we go. There we go. That's better. Right. So, where's the mission? Can you bring up the mission log without being over there? Um... A lot of things have changed about this. Cookie Cat 94 says, did anyone else hear that and check their Discord? Sorry to everyone who thought they had an urgent message. Okay, lights in the distance. Go to gateway chamber, still doing that. Active. Gather compound, gather resin. Use the terrain tool. Yes. Terrain tool to gather resources as you excavate. Do I have a terrain tool yet, is the question. Forgive me while I get back up to speed on this. Uh, action wheel. We'll use the action wheel to have a look. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
terrain tool. Research catalog, compass. Ah, mission log. That's good. Research catalog. Required. Okay. Oh, the compass is new as well. That's fun. Right, is there any... Okay. Resin required. Produced by soil centrifuge. Goodness me, it's been so long. But anyway, it's pretty chill, this game. So actually, I shouldn't worry about not already flying. I should just have a bit of fun with it. Just let's have a poke around, shall we? There's a broken car. Absolutely, just basically wrecked. Um, thingamy. Right, we need to find one of the things that's emitting a column of light. Now what we can do, right, is just start running. And we'll watch our oxygen tank. We'll go off in this direction. And we'll see if we can just find one. Let's just do some Mishwans. That looks light up over there. That's a column of light, if ever I've seen one. Good, good, good. Mr. Tom for the Wind says, damn it, I've got to reinstall this. It's just so good. Like, I messaged my friends going, I'm going to play some Astron here today. Uh-oh, we might die. Oh, unless I can tether to this thing, please be a thing that will give me some oxygen. Hmm. Is it? Is it? Fuck. Insert appropriate resource. Maybe if we just leg it, we'll make it in time. We almost certainly won't. Maybe, maybe I should have used tethers, because now I'm suffocating, which is bad, so I'm moving slower, yawn, uh, and, uh, well, I'm about to die, basically, but this is, a thi this is the thing we needed to find. Good. That's one. Okay. I mean, the good news is, oh, no, we had tethers there. Uh-oh. Well, I'm not sure that was um, I'm not sure that was wise because our tethers have gone. And we need those to reach the thing, but I think I think oh tethers yes tethers. Uh, yeah, we don't have any. That's bad. But I think if we bring out our compass, yeah, our compass will show where we last well died. But obviously we can't get there now. <laughs> Okay, so we've made the game quite quite a bit harder for ourselves here, really, to be honest. I say we. Me. I have. Uh, I can't make tethers here. You can present, print consumable oxygen with resin, apparently. Anyway. How do I de- Go away, compass. Oh, resin. Resin is a thing we need. Is there some resin kicking about here? That looks resinous. Nope. Here I was. Ooh, dynamite. Okay, that's that's new to me. You print tethers in your backpack with just some compound. Okay, so we just need some compound. What compound is... Uh. Cheerful Spider is on a super chat saying, Happy Thursday, I join you from the shop where I'm getting my land spaceship fixed. And tomorrow is my birthday. I'm turning a multiple of 11. 22? Happy birthday, Cheerful Spider. Uh, shop from I'm getting my land spaceship fixed. Oh, a car. Clever. Uh, oh, I do have my dig tool. Thank you, Clouded Mind. There we go. Right, let's make some blooming tethers. Yeah, here we go. Gather compound. So, yeah, you've got this tool. Uh, it's great. You just go and hoover up things. Um, now, that's surface compound. But as you can see, mm, there's some below here. So you know how I mentioned that very quickly you'll be like, I'm in the mine. Which mine are you in? Etc, etc. Uh, this is why. Because you just go around just hoovering stuff up, basically. Right, so that's compound. 
and we are about to suffocate. So let's get back up by building ourselves a little ramp like this. There we go. All right. Emma Benton says also technically Subnautica does not have whales, Johnny. So technically, technically doesn't have whales. Ah, there we go. That's right. You just hit print me some tethers. Oh, I love this fucking game. It's so good. Print me more tethers. We've got a corpse to go salvage. Mine, to be specific. Alright. And you can see here, look, that's my power being drained by the thing. Uh, this is more tethers than we're probably going to need. But that's okay. Oh, I'm back, baby. So the pack restores itself. We've got tethers. Let's call up our compass then. Right, so which way do we need to go? Oh, we need to go this way. If if the terrain will let me. Let's drop a tether here. That's right. Oops, damn. Can I grab this one? Yeah. So, hang on, let me get rid of my compass here. I remember the old trick. The old trick is you watch the line at your back. And then the second it disappears... Bang! That's when you drop a tether, baby! And that is how you start to survive while you're trying to find uh, where you died before. Let's bring the compass back up. Alright, we're going the right way. Oopsie. Ah, oh, no. Ah, no. <laughs> oh, I'm rusty. Garena Rain says, what platform is this on? I'm playing this on PC. It is available on the Xbox, Xbox, Xbox Game Pass. I think it's available on other platforms. Neko the Kitty says, why do I feel like we're a dog on a really long lead? I don't know, because I'll be honest with you, like, I, I've, I've got a dog. I kind of have made no secrets of that. But um, I tell you what, the lead doesn't... The lead's not to make sure she's still breathing. In fact, more than once she's done a pretty good job of trying to strangle herself with the lead. But, um... Oopsie. Sorry, I'm just trying to reacquaint myself with some of these contrails. Um... I can, I can see the visuals are good, but... It's on Steam as well, says around the well. That's good. Lots of you saying you didn't know I had a dog. I think you're telling fibs. Ah, there we go. All right. Ah, I'm over the technical difficulties at the start. I remember how to use land gun and make tether. We're going to be fine, everyone. Ah. You've played this whole has a dog thing pretty close to your chest. I know, right? Secret dog. Oh, she's a lovely pig. Speaking of pigs, I um, just want to say, I don't know if you can see there, but that is a beautiful, like, kind of like crocheted wild boar, which is a gift from Mrs. Treeman to the... Um, to the P.O. box. Um, she also very specifically said, this is not a toy. <laughs> don't give it to Watson. <laughs> Which is, yeah, fair. Okay, so what do we need to put in this? It needs, oh yeah, it needs that thing. I, rem I used to know what that symbol was. Is that resin? Let's see. Uh, Astropedia. La 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 la. Resources. Is that one resin? No, that's not resin. It wants... I think it's laterite it wants. Possibly hematite. No, it's laterite. Yeah, it wants laterite. Oh, get you some laterite, you thirsty little monkey. Anyway, how's everyone's week going? I hope you're dealing with the heat better than I am. Because, wow, I hate it. Chris Butler says, you might like to hear I got my LSP t-shirt, its first outing at a big German goth festival the other week, and received many compliments on the design. Excellent. Also, while we're plugging things, 
Um, this is a very good reminder to tell you all, right, so you, you're familiar with the artwork of the LSP t-shirt, and hopefully many of you will be aware that uh, it was made by, ah, no, wait. Oh, it's, no, it's re it wants resin. Is it one resin? No, it doesn't. Anyway, um, you'll be aware that the design was done by the incredibly talented Katrin Blackwater. Um, Katrin, on Saturday, is launching a Kickstarter for an extremely cool-looking um, tarot deck, um, which is basically all about uh, some, like, witches being in touch with their, like, their femininity and their bodies, and it's... It's awesome. Will has just dropped a link in the chat. Will, can you also pin that? Um, oopsie. Uh, it is very, very cool. I plan to back it on Saturday and get hold of a deck. Because Catherine is obviously, uh, is honestly such a lovely person and a phenomenally talented artist. So, yeah. Um, but I'm very, very glad... Oh, Mankoy says that reminds me I also got a compliment on the LSP t-shirt from my brother's partner who does a lot of art for the Society of Creative Anachronisms. I didn't know that was a society, but that's brilliant. Um, oh no, my backpack. It's so full of things. Too full of things. And my gun's all full of resin. Okay, right. Well, we'll we can sort this. Look, there's my body. Um, you know what? I'll tell you what. Neko the Kitty says, as if I didn't already have four decks too many. As I'm, a, as far as I'm aware, I don't read tarot, but my wife does. Um, as far as I'm aware, tarot decks are like sets of dice. You can you just, you have a lot of them, and that's okay. I think. EJ says, good afternoon, friends. Hope you're all staying safe and hydrated. Uh... In the heatwave, what is this lovely game all about? This is Astroneer. It's all about space exploration and being cute. Uh, Corvus Albright has done a super chat saying, What's in haiku for what's in haiku time? Might pig says woof. Mighty pig? Probably mighty pig, right? Because otherwise it wouldn't scan. Mighty pig says woof. The very best of puppers. Inspiring us all. Well, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Ooh. Research item. Items? Oh, well, can't pin things. Sorry. Well, I will just... I'll pin your message. Saying I can't pin things, sorry. Uh, oh no, I missed a super sticker from Danilo Dragon and they resubmitted it. I'm so sorry. Yes, Danilo Dragon has twice now, I'm so sorry, sent a super sticker of the Shiba Inu. The Shiba Inu is standing on its hind legs with its, um, with its like, paws kind of like clutch like this as if it's to say, what a strong dog I am and also what a great sense of balance I have. My core muscles must be really great. Uh, and in order to celebrate this this incredible uh, feat, um, they sort of punch their right paw in the air and go like, way! And some text comes up saying, how's it going? It's going pretty great, actually, Dino. Thank you. I'm kind of reacquainting myself with myself. Myself. Uh, reacquainting myself with a game I like a lot. Small print here. Examine. What do you want? We, we could print a medium printer. And a platform. Yes, I remember now. And storage and a rover seat and a cast. Okay. Let's print a medium printer. See, this is the thing. You buy one 3D printer and then you 3D print a bigger 3D printer. Hmm? Here we go. Okay. We hold to unpack. Boofed! Yes! This will print large resources. We can put it here. And then, where's your power plug thing? Where's your power plug? Where's your power plug thing gone? Eh. Let me power you! Was that disturbing? Was that strange and unusual? Uh, do we have to put it in the... No, we don't have to put it in the thing. Uh. <laughs> oh, no, you do. You do have to put it on the thing. Okay. Well, what can we remove, then? I mean, this guy's doing shit all. Right? 
Mm, maybe it isn't. Oh, it goes on a platform. On a platform, that's right. Thank you. Medium platform. Ah. Print. It's amazing how much I've forgotten of this game. Because, honestly, we played it a lot. Oops. No, don't store it. Yeah, put that there, please. Right, then we'll go over there and unpack it. And then we'll put this on here. Yep. How do you spin something? I've forgotten. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just put it there. Connect the cable. Examine. That is a bad place to have that. Eh. 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 Come here. Oh, I'll tell you what, if I just... Eh? Oh, for, f for the love of Christmas. Examine. Large... We can print a large printer. Why not? Actually, is that... Eh, well, we're doing it now, aren't we? <sighs> Gen C says, oh no, looks like I'm buying another game. It's so good. It is also on Game Pass if you have a PC or an Xbox. Because um, Game Pass, I promise you I'm not shelling for Microsoft here, but Game Pass is really fucking good value, in my opinion. Right, small printer, examine. What can you make me? Medium storage, right see. La 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 la. Oh yeah, we've been over this. Okay. Nathaniel Levy says, ah, the most important decision, base design. Yes, welcome to me playing a game like this, in which I will just plonk anything anywhere. Just so you're aware. Uh, now let's see. No, it's not that. It's mission log here. Okay, so. <gasps> we can have a small canister if we want one. And an uh, uh, oxygenator. Large platform. Oh. We just get a platform, that's good. Uh -huh. Unlock and print a smelting furnace. Okay, there's lots we can be doing here, basically. Let's see what... Um, let's get the... There we go. Manuel Riveros uh, says, Hey Johnny, I wanted to thank you on your Blood Bowl suggestion. Uh, you're very welcome. Um, started playing Blood Bowl 2 and managed to get a couple of days of the Blood Bowl 3 uh, beta. Love the game and trying to overcome my anxiety to play more online. Good for you. I mean, to be honest with you, I find it very stressful, that game, because of all of the, um, all of the, the, the aggressive timers. They're really upsetting, frankly. Oh, come on. Um, I find it very, very hard to, um, to play. I can't. I cannot do a whole turn of Blood Bowl in two minutes, and I've been playing a lot of Blood Bowl in the past, you know, like a lot. Unpack a platform. Unpack a platform here, why not? We can always move these around. Okay, is there anything else we can claim? Yes, a large platform. That's great, because we've got a large printer. And some bytes to collect. Great, great, great. Large platform. Large platform's gonna go there. Why not? Hmm, that's why not. Can I? Hmm. Eh. I need a little Jenny. I might, I might build a little generator. Anyway, large printer. Unpack. Ah, here we go. Right. Cool. But, right, what what else can you make me, medium printer? Research chamber, that's good, we need one of those. Let's have a research chamber. Dan Keller has says, shipping off to a new planet with a prepackaged base all ready to go is a real joy after struggling early on. Yes, it is. So, the funny thing is, I was playing with, like, 
four mates and we were um we were like we just split into teams where two got really really into um like really into actually like three or I was playing with a lot of people three or four of us got really into um uh the mining and the sort of like working out what the secrets of the game were and a couple of us me and a me and a pal in particular got really into the base building stuff to the point where it kind of became a challenge where it'd be like, all right, we're shipping off to a new moon. We're going to get a full base up and running. Let's see how fast we can do it. 20 minutes is how we got it down to. Um, is how, how how little we got it down to, rather. Uh, which I was very pleased with. But, um, God, damned if I can remember a lot of that stuff now. Which is just slightly worrying. Anyway, we I know that we've got a mission to just gather some soil. So let's just gather some soil. There we go. Fill a small canister with soil. There we go. Phew. New mission. Retooling. God, that music's quite discordant. That's horrible. That's a horrible noise. Ugh. Claire de Bear has done a super chat saying, Here's some cash for your secret canine and some quality ice cream in this uncivilized weather slash heat. Keep up the great work and fab content. Off to see Amber on Saturday. Not looking forward to the tube. Yeah, I can't say I blame you. Although, depending on what time you go, it won't be that bad. Um, why is the music so horrible right now? I don't remember it being this grim. Although, maybe I turned it off so I could listen to my own music. I can't I can't recall. Uh, right. What up, research module? Research chamber? I should probably move you somewhere, shouldn't I? Hang on. There we go. Right. How do you rotate a building? I cannot remember, and it's driving me slightly wild. Eh? 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 Hang on. Research module. Is that not a power cable? Surely it must be. It's not Z and C. Oh, it is Z and C! Great. Oh my god, I'm turning that down. I'm sorry, everybody. Ah! Cable plug. Is that actually a cable plug? No. How have I forgotten so much of this game? Press button to start research. But there's... Is it already powered up? How can it be? It's not plugged into anything. Oh, it needs to be on a platform, Johnny! Johnny! Johnny, do you remember when things needs to be on platforms? Oh, good lord. Yeah, because look, you've got your large printer there, so you can print large things. Oh, goodness, right. No, okay, right. Just chill, Johnny. Just chill your little beans, okay? Your little beans? You remember your beans? You're going to chill them. You, you like chilling your beans, don't you, Johnny? Yes, I do. All right, great. Chill them, then. Print it. No, wrong way around. There we go. Examine. We can build a shelter. Boring. All right, so we'll sack off the large printer for now. Sit the research station on. Examine. There we go. It's powering up. Will says, if there's one thing we know Johnny likes, it's cold beans. I mean... No comment, actually. Are you trying... Hello, I would like to research some organic. Boop! Right, it's going to spend five minutes working out what organic is. That's good news. Okay. <sighs> Medium printer. What else can we have? A research chamber, exo request platform, large platform, large printer, okay. Small printer, what can you do for us again? Small printer, medium storage, rover seat, small canister, work like, actually would quite like a small canister, thank you. Steve. 
Stephen Roger Benson says, I think organic means it includes carbon. Hmm. Interesting. I would like to subscribe to your newsletter. Right. We've got a couple of beacons now. Active, smelteringly hot. Unlock and print a smelting furnace. And refine aluminium from laterite. Unlock, print and attach boost mod to terrain tool. Print and connect small generator to power network. I would like... I would like to track this, please. Um, retooling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bytes are used to unlock schematics via the catalog. That's good to know. Find and use research samples, lights in the distance. Okay, we should have done this earlier. So let's track this, actually. Lights in the distance. Beacons. We shall take these because they're handy. Now. Hopefully you'll remember. Hopefully you'll remember. We were going this way. That's right. There we go. Hope we've still got enough tethers. If we haven't, we'll just print more. That's fine. Emily Hill has done a super chat saying, here's something kind of tan tangible so you can feel my intangible support and love. And so you know you have those things from all of us with a little heart emoji. Thank you, Emily. Um... Yeah, slightly, slightly shaky start to the stream, but uh, I think that's all just in my own little head, so thank you very much for the words of encouragement. Let's drop run this over there. Oh, didn't drop run it. Aha. No. Ah, right. We're just going to plonk this down over by the research thingy-me. Wherever I've put that. There it is. So we can research it in a bit. There we go. We've got a research queue. Okay. Shocking Squirrel says, Sorry I'm late. You're not late. You arrive precisely when you mean to. Um... So, blah, 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 says, this game looks nice, what's it about? So this is Astroneer. Basically, it's a game where you you start off uh, and you, you, have a, you have a little, you do a little crash landing, um, which isn't ideal, um, or at least in the very tutorial. Um, but basically, it's a game where you just land on a planet and you sort of just need to go explore things. So you try and work out what's around you. For example, we know over here there's a big column of light going off into the distance. What's that? We don't know. Um, we know there are things we need to build, but for those things we need resources. Where are we going to find those resources? We're not sure. But we are going to find out eventually through mining, unlocking things, and uh, making stuff, basically. It's just a very, very, very chill... Uh, would you even call it a survival game? Not really. Like... Sure, you can run out of oxygen, and that's bad for you. But, like... I mean, for example, here's where I ran out of oxygen earlier. Now we can look at my backpack. We'll have those tethers back, please. I'll have that small solar power generation item. Didn't even know I had that, that's great. And we'll have some malachite. Thanks, past me. I'm sorry you died. Um, and you just generally you start to piece piece the mysteries of the universe together. Eventually you build ships and you blast off to other planets. It's just lovely. So, we're trying to work out what the heck this is. Currently. Arcadia says it's been a really rough week down with COVID. Feeling super awful. I had to cancel three different D&D games, but it's nice to watch you live as we don't often get the chance anymore. Good to see you. Um, I'm sorry to hear about the COVID. And that's a lot of D&D games to have to cancel. Um, 
That sucks, but hopefully you'll be feeling better very, very soon. It is not a fun fun thing to have, and the fatigue is real. So, yeah, do take care of yourself. Oh, no. Everyone's saying it's the hiss. No, please not the hiss. Uh, so, right, we've now done the mission that says go find one of these things. Um, these things are weird. Uh, we'll come back to this in a bit, because you kind of need some stuff to power it up, I think. Stephen Roger Benton says, I can't hear a hiss. No, the hiss is the, uh, the, the big bad in uh, video game control. And it looks not unlike that, weirdly. The nice switch says, can't believe we were Alan Wake all along. <laughs> Very good. Right, so. We're going to, let's actually, while we're here, we'll have a quick look at the mission log. Lights in the distance. Discover a gateway chamber. We've done that. We can have the bytes. Powerful problems. Print and connect small generator to power network. Can do. Generate enough power to sustain your projects. We need to gain more bytes. The missions are kind of new, it feels like. I don't remember them being like this. Let's get more bytes. Powerful problem. Okay, fine. So. Nick Jeffrey has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, surely a medium, a medium printer produces physics. Oh, oh, no, psychics. God damn it. Let me try that again. Nick Jeffrey has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, surely a medium printer produces psychics? Please note, if I never send another chat, it'll be due to me melting into a puddle of Nick goo. Um, I sincerely hope you don't melt into a puddle of Nick goo, Nick, but uh, frankly, I wouldn't blame you if you did, because it is extremely hard. Um, like, extremely hard. Um, I had some air conditioning running before this stream, but it's the temperature has already, in the last 47 minutes, risen to be something atrocious, which is not great. Uh, let's see then. Large printer. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, have we finished with our research? Have we finished? Re we have. We finished researching soil. Now let's research this mineral. Monster Noodle says, does anyone know how to teach dogs not to try and eat bees? No, unfortunately. I kind of feel like um, sort of one of those lessons they, they will learn at some point. Like so, request platform. Large platform, la 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 la. Right, where did that solar thingy go? Solar power, small power generation item. Converts sunlight into power. Produces power. That's great. Because uh, one of our little missions here, seem to remember, is powerful problems which actually print and connect small generators to power network. Hmm. How do we get into the catalogue? I can't remember. Saving game, that's good. Ah, research catalogue. Here we go. Tethers, small printer. Packager, oxygen filters, leveling block, oxygenator, medium. Sh ah, sh uh, for fuck. Okay, so the catalog is where we can. Um, the catalog is where we can unlock new things to print. I forgot about this. Like we don't need a field shelter. A medium shredder would be great. Um, because you can just scrap things, and then it gives you resources which you can trade. Smelting furnace we need. Soil centrifuge. Okay, we can just unlock the smelting furnace right now. So we can afford it. But where's a generator? Large solar panel. Wind turbine. Platform. T platform. Resource canister. Large storage. Buggy. We can build ourselves a car. 
crane, large foghorn, recreational sphere. I forgot about this. Okay, auto extractor. No, extra large shredder, solar array. Oh. Wind turbine. Still getting getting back up to speed with this, to be honest with you. Right. Ah, small generator, there we go. Oh, it's unlocked. Power generation item. We should just be able to print that then. Build large foghorn. I promise you I will build large foghorn. Hang on. Research catalog. So we've unlocked that. Power cells are great. We should unlock those. Where's large foghorn? Was it here? Buggy. Okay. Unlock that. Medium rover, VTOL, recreational sphere. Large foghorn. It does cost four grand, but it is kind of essential. Um, so I promise you, everybody, uh, I promise you, I will unlock the buggy as soon as I can, and then the large foghorn, and we'll all go exploring together. How does that sound? For now, though, where's the small printer? Small printer, medium storage, rover seat, small... No, is it that? No. Where's it gone? Large platform. Blah, blah, blah. I am confused. We should be able to print a generator. Maybe it's done on the large printer. Oops. Anyway, right. Medium printer. Let's print a large platform. For that, we need some more resin. Oh, so you can see how the kind of the loop goes. You're like, I want to print a thing. Oh, for that, I need a thing. So I'm going to go to the place and then do the stuff. Um, ah, good. Garina Rain has done a super sticker. The super sticker... Uh, oh, wait. I missed the super chat earlier. Hang on. Hold that thought on the super sticker. I think you all know what it's going to be. Shocking Squirrel has done a super chat saying, Thank you for the explanation with a smiley face uh, surrounded by hearts saying, The game looks cool. I feel a purchase coming on. Lol. Good. I am glad that you are having a nice time. Um... Garena Rain is a super sticker of... Do you remember I mentioned before that there was a violent pair that was sort of just smashing things? Ooh, ceramic, yes please. Uh, sort of just like punching menacingly toward the screen. Well, it looks like the pair has somehow drawn blood from someone. We're not sure who. Um, but it was enough blood to fill a mug. And given in the past, we've seen this very... There we go, that's enough resin. Oh no, too much resin. Let's carry that. Given in the past we've seen this um, this pair smashing up an entire city, we can only assume the pair is enormous, um, which is very troubling, um, because it must mean that there's loads of blood in that mug. Troubling, very upsetting, if you ask me. Large platform, print it. Thomas Wade is on Super Chat saying, just watch the card chart video and bought the game. Johnny, damn you and your exquisite taste. I'm sorry. It is very good though, isn't it? Uh, I even had a dream about like in-jogging the, um, the uh, shuffling technique, which is just silly. Shouldn't be dreaming about card sharking. And yet here we are. Okie dokie. So, take a bite. We need more bites. Print and connect. Small generators to power network. I just... right. Unlock and print a smelting furnace. We can do that, definitely. I'm just a little... I'm a little bit confused as to... Because this should be... Packager leveling block. Small generator, right? Requires compound. And you'd think that that's just comes up the small printer and it's unlocked. So why can't we just 
use the little bastard. You know? I've not had the, um... Small print, yeah. Small... Small printer. Small canister. Small generator, right? Small power source. La 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 la. Should be printable from a thing. John Hall is on a super chat saying to help with Johnny's aircon air con fund even though they got one lol. Hope everyone stays safe and cool. Yeah, in the five to seven minute break of this stream, I will be running that thing as hard as I can to um, try and cool this place down a bit, to be honest with you. Well, I have a large printer up and running soon. Medium storage. Whoa! Work light oxygenator. Yeah, it's not coming up on the options. Oh, you make a small generator from your backpack. Thank you, Aidan. How could I forget? For God's sake. Look, yeah. Ah, uh, it's the backpack, not the small printer. Good. Right, we've made a small generator. Where is it? <laughs> Where even is it? No, oh, those are beacons. That's soil. Tethers, soil. Small solar. We did... Oh, it's on It's on my gun. That's right. You know what? Okay, uh, you know what? I'm going to change the colour. But yeah, we're going to put a beacon there. So we can always see where it is. Ah, no. Steady. Okay. Simon so Bruft has done a super chat saying, D&D going well. Love playing this game with friends. It's so chill, apart from when those nasty plants keep getting you and you lose your stuff. The plants are annoying, to say the very least. But, um... I did enjoy the element of risk or danger that was, that was sort of inherent. Okie dokie. Right, so we've got a large platform now, so if we want to... We've got something we can stick our large printer on without having to worry about interrupting our own research. That is nice. Even though, I'll be honest with you, my cable management leaves a lot to be desired. Put that over there. Stick that over here. Come here, large platform. Oh, no, don't open your fucking taskbar, Johnny. There we go. PJ Buck has done a super chat saying BNB do crims um, uh, with uh, some emojis. Purple heart, a yellow heart, a white heart and a black heart to indicate to us the non-binary flag. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Oh, it's warm though. Okay, right. Let's have another look at the mission log. Mission log. Print and connect small generator to power network. Okay, so we've We've printed the small generator. I know we have. It happened. Small generator. Come here. Small generator. There we go. Now there's a small generator with some organic on it. Oh, that's right, because it runs on organic. It eats the organic to power things. Great. I cannot believe how much of this game I've forgotten. I Earlier on when I was installing it, I was like... I'll spend five minutes bimbling around, and I'll I'll be right back in. Nope. Apparently not. Okie dokie. So, powerful problems. Done. Now we can have some batteries. We're slowly earning more bytes, which is great. Because we need to unlock and print a smelting furnace. And then, we need laterite. So we're going to go m m m mining Ugh. Um, so, let's follow this. Unlock a smelting furnace. Draw mod, dynamite, small... Oh, yeah, solid field jump jets and stuff. Mm, there'll probably be... Button repeater extenders. Paver. Paver's useful, in it? Where's it gonna be? Where's it gonna be? Medium gas canister? No. Oxygenator. Shredder? I do like a shredder. They're really useful. No, don't need sensors. Is it on a large printer? Smelting furnace! 
Ah, oh, that's really cheap to buy, and therefore unlock. Okay, great. Well, in that case, we will treat ourselves to a shredder. Now we know how to make one. Great. Uh, what platform was that again? <laughs> large? Come here, large printer. What can you make now? Nope, still just a shelter, you useless prick. <laughs> Aha! Smelting furnace! Great. Uh, well, in order to make you, we need resin and compound. So, looks like we need to get some of this shit off our backpack. Like this ceramic. And this malachite. And this beacon. And this soil can just live on the ground. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, blimey. Um, right. What do we need? Resin. And compound. Those are easy things to get. Oh no, D. Lonros says, do you like a shredder? Johnny confirmed Foot Clan. Oh no! I promise I'm not. I forgot that they're called Foot Clan. That hits different when you're an adult, doesn't it? No, come back here, Tether. There we go. Right. Uh, Lena Hansen says, Exhausted being here with zero brain capacity. I'm sorry to hear you're exhausted. So sorry if it's been made obvious at some point. Does this game have any time-sensitive mechanics, like having to hurry for basically anything? No, not really. Um, the only thing is trying not to run out of oxygen. Right, resin. More resin. Will says, do you know why they're called the Foot Clan? Because TM TMNT is a parody of Daredevil. What? What? Will, please explain. <gasps> Look, a busted up old, busted up old thingamy. We've got some dynamite now. <laughs> That'll end well. Uh, we've got no space left in our backpack. We have got space on our mining tool, however, so that's fine. We need more compound. The radioactive waste that made them was the barrel that fell off a truck and hit Daredevil in the bonds. Oh, it's a deliberate parody of The Hand from Daredevil. Wow. Jersey Cat Productions says, uh, later than I wanted, so going back to the start, see you in the future. Farewell, Jersey Cat Productions, and indeed, hello again, Jersey Cat Productions. I hope that you are well. Oh, look at that. Cast of radioactive material bouncing off a young man's head. Wow. Comics are very amusing and weird. Okay, oh no. Alright. More compound. Let's just run this back. That's really funny. Danilla Dragon says, Bye everyone, got to go to a barbecue. Have fun. Have fun! Make sure all your food is properly cooked. Don't be... Don't make yourself sick. Some dad energy, wasn't it? Medium pronter. Prompt me a smelting finesse. Thank you. Great. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm back in now. I'm back in. I feel like we're starting to get our little gameplay loop going. Unlock and print the smelting furnace. Will do. Then we need laterite. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Boost mod, blah, blah, blah. Fully charge a battery. Store power, blah blah blah. Find and use research samples. Oh yeah, research samples. Yeah, we need to use more of those. Let's fit a gateway chamber. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our first mine, which means, actually, I'd like to discard some of this stuff. Is this our research chamber? Yeah. Is there anything we can put in the research chamber that we've got on us? We've already researched organic. Yeah, we kind of just use these things, don't we? What else can I print? Small generator, yeah. Beacon, yeah. Work light. Power cells. Work light's useful, isn't it? Yeah, let's make one of those. What do I need for it? Copper. Never mind. Power cells, small battery. Okay. Right, we're going to put some stuff, more stuff down 
It doesn't have to go in one of these um, storage things. In fact, I've almost filled this, so these are just going to go on the floor. Uh, we will need more tethers for certain. Great. Um, la, la, la. We don't need that. Or that. Or that. Oops. Ah, we've got soil. Can we make it research the soil? Or do we need a soil centrifuge for that? Uh, there we go. Hey, ah, research some fagging soil. Doesn't want to research it. That's because it's not researchable. Just gonna put it there. Just gonna put it there. It's fine. Uh, can we make canisters here? Yeah, a small canister requires resin. Right, resin. Small canister. Okie dokie. Um. PJ Buck has done a super chat saying, back to work, shout out to my twin marble harbors. I don't know what a marble harbor is, but it sounds like fun. Marble harbor. Marble harbor. Uh, so, right. Now it's time to mine, because what we need, according to the research catalog, not research catalog, according to our mission log, is... Aluminium, which for which we need laterite. For which we need to go deep within the earth. By leaving tethers. Oh, this one has already kind of had a bit of a head start. I'm just going to go down here. Ah, that's right. One thing I wanted to look up and remind myself of was... Astroneer Basics, uh, la 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 la, terrain tool, the canister equipped, you can use the terrain tool to flatten and add terrain, that's right, that's why we wanted the canister. I remember now, control and L is flatten, add is alt, okay great, because sometimes, right, yeah I need a canister, oh wait, with a canister, Ah, we need to fill the canister with soil. Okay, right. Right, right, right. So we're going to make this a bit easier to get up, for one thing. There we go. Emily Hill has done a super chat saying, I'm a brick wall mister! <laughs> Thank you, Emily Hill. I'm glad to know that you aren't going to dob on me about my, uh... Uh... About my nefarious restaurant slash tailor's business because you're a brick wall mister. That's very kind. Right, so, now we've filled a canister, what you can start doing is just flattening the ground. So you can build, like, platforms and stuff. Or, if you need to, you can... Uh-oh, uh-oh, you can bring up the windows bar. There we go. You can add terrain. So you can, for example, build a romp. It's very, very useful. Um, and you shouldn't go mining without one. Chaos has done a super... No, not a super chat. Sorry, Chaos just chatted. Uh, Chaos says, Fun geology fact, one of the most common magnesium-containing minerals is coming tonight. Named for the town of Cummington and nothing else. Well. Claire de Bear says, People pies next week, right? Maybe. Because here's the thing. I know I said next week, but... Um, and I, Oh, shit! Oh, that could be bad. Okay, so this is... Right. You can see this is a little bit slippery slidey. So what we're gonna actually going to do is build up a bit of terrain here. That's too much. But what you could... Let's just make a nice little ramp. Make it a bit more ramp-like, you see? So, the reason I said maybe is that, I'll be honest with you, today I was really hoping to stream the new Starship Troopers game, which unlocks in about an hour or so. But... Because it hasn't unlocked yet, um, I was like, well, I can't very well do the stream and just be sat. It's not a stream if you're just sat around waiting for the game to unlock. Uh, but there's a new Starship Troopers game coming out. It's an RTS where you're just killing bugs. And given the fun we had with the, the last Starship Troopers game, um, I thought to myself, oh, I should really stream that. So... 
CookieCat94 says, wait, a new Starship Troopers game? Yeah! It's called, like, Terran Command or something? Stephen Roger Benson says, a la the film or the book? It's very much got the the film um, uh, pfft, aesthetic. So I'd say it's very much of the film, not the book. Um, so I reckon Pi's pie, pie the week after that, but I'm just really excited for this game, so I want to play it. We'd be playing it today if it were tomorrow, but <laughs> we if it was if it were already out, we'd already be playing it. Is what I mean. <laughs> Good lord! Right, we've got our smelting furnace. That's great. We'll unpack that later. In the meantime, could you build me a large platform if I feed you two resin? Okay, let's just that's organic, organic. Aha, resin. Feed it the corn on the cob. Where have you gone, big printer? Uh, not big printer, medium printer. No, wrong, wrong button. Oh, you can lock it. Hmm, that's fun. Large printer, large platform. Damn it. Okay. Anyway, right, yeah. So, uh, Starship Troopers next week, and then we'll go back to Ravenous Devils the week after that. Right, back to the mine. So in fact, what I'm what I'm gonna do? Do I have enough? Could I make a beacon? Quartz? No, we do have a beacon back here. I promise you, at some point I'll go to this mine. <laughs> um, what I want to do is just grab this beacon. Um, Emma Benton says, "When is more Hotas Dark Souls?" Oofed in the summer heat. We can do more Hotest Dark Souls. Adeline says, Johnny, do you want to play more Card Shark as well on stream? It was getting quite tricky, but maybe. I don't want to queue up too many streams weeks in advance, because a really important part of this whole thing for me is just waking up some days and going, what am I going to stream? What do I want to stream? Um, so, never say never, but I'm... Ah, oh, yes. Pop Coral. A hazard. We'll uproot it. Ow! Yes, I remember now. It hurts. Hence the name Pop Coral. But, what's that over there? Let's go find out. By tethering. What are you? What are you? Tell me! Put a tether down here. And then that's how you do it. You pop a bit of terrain there and then you use the flatten tool. That's better. Here we go. Svalorite? You're not good to me. I want hematite. Hematite! Fine. Sphalerite. Sphalerite, you... Self. Good one, Johnny. That was great. They'll never fucking recover from that one, will they? Right. Now, this is, for some people, what this game is... Oh, I've just gone in a circle. For some people, this is what this game is all about. It's just all about the exploration. Um, and you know what? I do love it. I'm more about the, the base building, personally, which is not something I ever thought I'd say. But, um... Bleh, camera, please, zoom out a bit. Uh, ow! But it is just... It's bloody great, basically. Ow! Still a bit rusty, but uh, yeah. So we had we had friends who would log on and would just be down the mines, and that was their whole deal, their whole reason for playing this. Whereas I'd be back at the base, being like, "What do we need next? What can I build? What can I build, everyone?" Because uh, again, I am a 
pathological support, I want to say, when it comes to video games. <gasps> what are you? What are you? You're some form of organic matter. You're useless to me. We need hematite. Um, but it is it is undeniably good fun, this bit. Just sort of exploring. Like, the first time we dug to the centre of a planet was rad. I don't want to say too much of anything, because I know people are picking this game up off the back of this stream and are going to start playing it, so... What are you? Oh, get... Oh, I'm going to scan that, can I? Great. Give me your bites. Peter Fisher says, Johnny is a pathological support, except in Mario Kart. Mario Kart is different. Mario Kart is... is... a law unto itself, if you ask me. Hmm. Let's explore a little bit before we put down any more tethers here, because we don't know... I mean, that's dangerous. We don't know for certain there's anything we want here. Ah! 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 <laughs> there it is. That's what we're after. That, I believe, my good pals, is hematite. So what we actually kind of want to do... Build ourselves a little bridge here. So that we can put down the tether. Ah, Mrs. Treeman says, just dropping in for a moment. I'll be lurking while doing prep for a trip. I was glad to see you got your gift, Johnny. It's there. It's right there. Next to my Sea of Thieves drum and my accordion, concertina. Um, yeah, it's bloody lovely. Thank you very much, Mrs. Treeman. I'm sorry you... Um, sorry there was a bit of a sort of worrying bit where they said we don't have the correct address for this. Um, basically, like, because it's a P.O. box... Uh, like, they have to take it to a depot, um, and some package carriers get very confused about that and slightly sniffy. But I, So I figured it would be fine, but uh, it's never good when you've sent something across the world and then you're just told you haven't got the address right. Nick Jeffrey, who has, uh, has done a super chat and therefore has not dissolved into a pile of Nick goo. Nick's super chat reads, The food chat remind, reminds me, after I joking, jokingly slipped an extra option in when my fried Joe was planning... Friend Joe. The food chat reminds me, after I jokingly slipped an extra option in when my friend Joe was planning ROG Food Club Night. ROG? ROG? ROG Food Club Night? No, ROG Club... F Fucking hell. Okay, reading is hard. Nick Jeffrey has done a super chat. RPG Club. Okay. The food chat reminds me, after I jokingly slipped an extra option in when my friend Joe was planning... RPG club food. We're having roast zebra tonight. Wow. Um, let me know how you find that. Because... Uh, have I had zebra? I ha actually have, yeah. I found it okay. Um, it wasn't that exciting, I didn't think. But you may feel differently, so I'd love to know what you think of it, Nick. Um, let's see. Uh, 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 mission log. Laterite is what we need. And then we do not have any. We have got... Svalorite. Fucking Svalorite. Oh, we can get zinc from it. Okay. Lots of bloody Svalorite. Where's the other stuff we got? I swear we've got more than just Svalorite. Let me get some hematite in there, guy. Yeah, well... We may need to do some honest to goodness a digging. Wait, is there some more of it over here? What? All right. Now, what we don't want to do here. <gasps> Laterite! We've got some fucking laterite! Great. Right, we need to get down here. So what we're gonna... Oh, hello! Some more of you there.
Ah, laterite. Yum, yum, yum. Laterite, right, that's enough laterite for now, I think. Refined aluminium from laterite. Right, we're going to go back up. And then you just follow your tethers. Zero Summation says, this reminds me of a much less violent Deep Rock Galactic. Yes, indeed. And the voice acting is much better as well, because there is none. I fucking... That game's a lot of fun, but the voices for the dwarves are just atrocious. They just got the one guy to do all the voices, pitch them differently, and they all sound shit. Sorry, not sorry. Rock and stone! Shut up. <laughs> there you go. So we got our... This is our mine. We're out of, out of the mine. We've brought uh, a frankly massive bit of research material with us. Which looks pretty much exactly like that one, but hey-ho. Now, we've got a large platform, eh? We are going to need to build a bigger generator. Oh, no, wait, you can just sit... That's right, you can just serial connect things, can't you? Duh. There we go, you just do things in a line. Uh, so close. Doesn't have to be pretty. Just has to be a smelting furnace. We are going to have to build a generator at some point, I think. Turn on smelting furnace. Okay. Now, if memory serves... No, don't do that. We get the laterite. Aha! Laterite. Great. Can we also put sphalerite on here? Apparently so. Great. Have some of that sphalerite. More printer. Tethers. Make me more tethers. Ah. Okay. Good. Oh, did I? I didn't even start the research, did I? Whoopsie. Great. Cool, we're going to refine the laterite, and that is great, because the reward for that is... Oh, it's medium storage. Hooray. Fully charge a battery. We can do that. Let's see. Research catalogue. New mission, Talking Tungsten. Okay. Small battery. Oh, we can just make one of those. Oh, with zinc. Come back, zinc! 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 Aluminium. There's our aluminium there. Ah. Emma Benton is talking about uh, uh, an elephant with a vendetta. What have I missed? Is there an elephant that's gone rogue? Because I'm into it. I mean, elephants can be kind of dicks, but... <sighs> Give it more energy. That's right, it needs more energy. Oh, look at it. It's flashing, and everything's very unhappy. All right. Whoopsie. Um, yes. Making more things is good. Oopsie. Oh, for fuck's sake. Forgot you can do that. The lock feature is very good. <laughs> Wish I'd made use of that before. Okay, so we've got a little power problem right now. As I think evidenced by the fact that everything's going terribly. Uh, we need to make... How do we make a medium generator? Mm -mm 
Research. That was the research catalog, Johnny. Small generator can be made in the backpack with compound. Great. Button repeaters, extenders, splitter, medium generator, aluminium, and tungsten. Tungsten. All right, so I guess we'll just make some solar ones. Um, with the backpack. Small generator. We need compound. All right, we need more compound to make small generators. Okay. Fine. Oh, wait, also, have we got any organic? I bet you, yeah, look, our little generator here, our little generator friend, ran out of, uh, ran out, ran out of bleeding juice, ran out of organic material. Now everything's going a little bit faster. Not a lot faster, but a little bit faster. So we need compound. So let's go find some compound. So you can sort of see it's in that classic sort of um, exploration game thing. It's you've got bigger goals, but to get to the bigger goals, you've got your little steps. We're like, oh no, we need more in order to, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I didn't explain that very well because half of the words I used were actually fart noises, but hopefully that makes sense. Emma Benton has done, frankly, a massive super chat saying, "Elephant story: Elephant tramples woman." Shows up to funeral, takes body out of casket, throws it around and tramples again, and also destroys her house. Apparently this lady assisted poachers and they killed her babies, so it is justified. Wow! Holy shit! That's incredible! Elephant just showed up to the funeral. I mean, you know, they're, they're, one of the things for which they're famed is having good memories. And also, apparently, yeah, having vendettas. That's amazing. I'm going to say it. Good for that elephant. Good for her. Terrifying, but also kind of great. Now... There we go. We've got some compound. We're going to make a couple of generators now. Make me a... Small generator, please. Why am I walking like that? Oh, because I got my backpack off my back. Uh, I also just saw somebody saying that apparently if you um, cook the organic before adding it to a generator, it'll last longer. So let's find out about that, shall we? Let's get ourselves some lovely organic. Lovely. I'm assuming, do I have to run it through the smelter? Is that what we're talking about here? Right. Now. If I stick a generator... Hang on. Where can I pop generators? Can I just... Can I just jam it there? Does that help? I can't remember. Yes, it does. Yes, it helps. Okay, that's great. Completed. Take a bite. Yes. Alright. Now we've got zinc, which is good, because we need zinc for reasons... Um, is that? Yeah, let's put it there. And the reasons we need zinc are... Um, printing a... Me... Medium generator? No. Why the hell did I say I needed zinc? Anonymous says, you have zinc. Good, now do the dishes. Wow. That was bad. Medium generator. We need aluminium and tungsten. 
Why did we want zinc? We're not for a button repeater, not for a power sensor. If anyone can remember, I'd be very grateful. The nice switch says, did we get the foghorn? It feels like so long ago. No. Not even. Ian Smith says, is this game just a time zinc? Thank you, that's not helpful. <laughs> Was it for small battery? It might have been for small battery. No, don't dig the thing. Small battery. Zinc. Yes. Oh, thank you very much. And sorry in advance for me butchering your name. Where's it gone? Uh, Slavic. Uh, Kukazik. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. That was almost certainly not how to say your name. Okay, but look, we're making a battery. That's good. Phew. Look, 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 we're making the battery go uh, bigger. We're making it charge up. <laughs> what is wrong with me? It's just warm. I'm just very warm. Don't bother with the name. Don't bother. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Right. Smelteringly hot. Medium storage. Hooray. And take a bite. We get more bites. Okay. Active. Ga uh, samples of sphalerite. Needed to initiate local fauna examinations. Trailers and tractors are good. Print a tractor. Find and use research samples. Print a small shuttle. Refine tungsten from wolframite. Gather some lithium. Advanced explorer kit. Unlock these things. Let's... Right. Let's see how we're doing on unlocking a buggy. Can we afford it? We can sort of almost afford the buggy. Well, in order to get the buggy working, we'll need to make a seat. Unless it comes with a seat. I think it comes with a seat. Yeah. Okay. And we can we can already make... Um, what do you call them? Batteries. So we can power the thing. We can even make it a solar thing. So it can power itself. And charge its own batteries when the going is good. So that's great. And then the... How much is the foghorn? Large foghorn is 4,000 bytes. Right, so I reckon what we should do uh, is... Um, la 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 la... Is there somewhere we can... Ah, look, 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 look. Actually, if we just connect... Come on. Come on. We connect... Oh, no, that's already connected. Come on, Johnny. Right. We connect this to here. Right. And then we go battery. That should... Yeah. That's going to run out extremely quickly. But for the time being, very brief time, it's making that go a little bit quicker. Now, I was curious about what we meant by cooking organic. Is it the smelter? No. You cannot smelt organic. No, don't. Well, now we've just got... Org oh, wait. Yes, you can. Look, look, look. It's doing it. Phew. Ah, I seem to remember there being a storage. You can connect a storage unit to this thing and it will automatically fart the stuff out, won't it? Seem to remember. <gasps> That's a small battery. We've just got one of those now. That's good. Okay, great. It's not mega useful. Medium storage. Unpack. Uh, wait, can you just jam it on there? No. 
swear there was a way to connect storage to smelter. But, guess I'm wrong. Carbon, that's what we need. Carbon, wait for it. Can carbon go on generator? Carbon go generate? Carbon, no. Was lied to. Well, but we've made carbon, so that's good. You need a bigger platform, that's the one. You need a bigger platform to put the storage on and then the thing spits it out. One thing at a time. First we need a car with a horn, because that's what I've promised the nice witch and the rest of chat. Okay. Oh, it's finished researching a thing, has it? Right, you can research another. And I will feed more organic to your generator. Lucy Quinn has done a super chat saying, Finally managed to catch a stream after two months in Africa. Rhinos are amazing, but I'll admit, I missed this. There it is, you heard it here first everyone. Johnny Chiodini, better than a fucking rhino. Thank you very much. I always suspected, but I'm pleased to know I was right. Better than a rhino. Have some of that. Right, okay. Let's go back to the mine. Um, hang on a minute, actually. Let's get rid of some of this shit. Mm -mm -mm. Laterite. We've got more laterite. That oh, fucking... Yeah, get in the storage. Ugh. Just, okay, all right. Better than a rhino. So you know what? As far as I'm aware, I'm not endangered. Or in danger right now. That's reason number one. Reason number two, I can type. I've got thumbs. Um. Um. Uh. Well, there's got to be more reasons, Johnny. Come on. I smell better. Uh, I produce less poo. I'm less likely to, to charge at you and cause you internal injuries. Less likely. Let's not rule it out. Ruth Opinion says, I mean, technically you are endangered because there's only one of you. This is true. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, there you go. Uh, endangered, but you don't hear me complaining about it. That's one. That's a big one, actually, I think. All right. Nick Chinamo Smith says very unlikely to be poached. Yes, I, well, uh, probably because they call it murder instead, which is different by definition. So, it, yeah, impossible to poach me. There we go. Steel Honor says rhinos never pay their taxes, friggin' moochers. Actually, I said, I'm gonna call it, that's one for the rhinos. That's a point for them. Oh crap, oxygen, I remember. See, this is one of those things with. Right, come on. Yeah, there we go. You leave your tether. It's very, very easy to just go and, you know, exploring and just completely forget about things like oxygen. What are you down here? Oxygen filters and debris. Yes, please. Provide a temporary increase to your oxygen capacity. Get me over there. Smithers. Oh, shit. No, that's too far. There we go. Get 
D. Lawnro says, pretty sure to poach, Johnny, you just need to submerge them in simmering water until cooked through. Yes, but don't forget to make a little swirling vortex so I don't come apart at the seams. Joke's on you. I've been coming apart at the seams for over 30 years now. Research, mineral. You would be a good source of bits. Let's take you part way up so that on the way back to the surface, I will remember to collect you. Gamer Cat says, that's a generator. All right, here we go. Oh my god, Emma Benton says, I'm so excited for the amateur autopsy club I just joined. Tomorrow's open mic night. <laughs> I like it, it's very good. Oh shit! Oh no. Okay, so this is what we in uh, the Astroneer... Uh, community call a bad situation which I am not fixing so much as uh, kind of fixing it I didn't make it palpably worse there we go there we go look and then we'll just seal this bit up there we are phew oh what the fuck how long has that been the case how long when the what the hell? When did that happen? I thank you everyone for telling me that we have switched scenes. We're now back, I promise. Thirty seconds just from the disaster. Oh well. Um that's really weird. I fell down a hole. I fell down a hole, but I'm I'm out the hole now. There we go. We're back. And we can have a look at this little lot. That's debris. That's some oxygen filters. I'll have those. That's more debris. Debris, debris. Buh, de, 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 de. Hello. What are you? Are you more... Ah, Quarats! Welcome, Quarats! Oh, oh no, we're full of... We're full of things. Ah, we've got too much shit. Right, back up to the surface we go. See, this is the nice thing now, is that, you know, having a nice time exploring, seeing what we can dig up, seeing what holes we can fall down, and apparently, that apparently uh, changed the scene in OBS for me. Uh, but really, our long-term goal is just... Wait a minute, what is this? Our long-term goal... Yes! Is just acquire more bits... Um, or bites, rather. So we can get a car and give it an obnoxious horn. Although, doubtless, the horn will require some form of mineral we don't have yet. But, you know what? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh-oh! I missed a super chat, did I? Sorry. There we go. Emma Blass has done a super chat saying, One mode of energy storage uses molten sand as the electrolyte and nickel as an electrode. They call it a salt and battery. Salt and battery. There it is, everyone. Ah. Thank you, Emma, for that. Pretty tortured pun, actually. I'm going to say that's right up there. Absolutely right up there with the worst ones so far. Research item. Got it. Don't half burn through the organic, does it? Come on. Have some organic. You know what? This thing isn't helping. It's just charging itself up and then running itself down. It's very silly. So we're just not going to do that anymore. Because, <laughs> look, the organic's doing a great job. Let's get some more organic. Get some more the old organic. I do like this game. 
If I put organic on the same thing, will the thingy automatically uh, thing? <laughs> Help! Hot! Make brain not go! Ah yes, yeah, soil! That's a good thing to just have hanging out there, isn't it? Where do I leave the rest of that organic? Rudy Gover says, Johnny, you're running around leaving organic matter behind, just like a rhino. <laughs> Thank you for that. I go on, research chamber, research that thing. With, un with oxygen filter, you have unlimited oxygen. Do I? What? I don't have to tether? But I like tethering. I like the tethers. Oxygen filters provide a temporary increase to your oxygen capacity. It's not unlimited. It's just bigger oxygen. Laterite. 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 Carbon. Quarots. Laterite. Quartz. <laughs> copper, no, still don't have copper for a work like. Anonymous says, if you don't have a tether, how will you find your way around? Exactly. I won't. You will see my sense of direction or lack thereof. Yes! If you put organic on the thing, it does work. Let's go get some more organic. I'm gonna build you all that car, and it's gonna be loud. We're going to honk, and we're probably going to lose it somewhere, and then we're going to have to build another one. It's going to be great. Wait a minute. Have I been thinking too small? Hmm. No, the storage won't just... But wait. Ha 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 ha! Oh, no, I need you. Don't fall down a hole. Damn it. No. Where did you go? Oh, there's a, another battery there. But, for fuck. There we go. Come here, medium storage. Come here, medium storage. Right, look. Watch this. Watch this. If you go on there, right, then, then, I remember. It's a coming to me Come on. I oh, need a bit more organic, do we? The nice switch says, Okay, Legends, I have to dip. Don't let the large foghorn dream die. Hashtag team pair. I'm so sorry. I should have I should have made it happen before you had to go. It's going to happen. Don't worry. But take care, the Nice Witch. It's always nice to see you in chat. If you want to catch up with what the Nice Witch is doing on Twitch, you should go to twitch.tv forward slash the Nice Witch. T H E E Nice Witch. Because uh, Sarah's pretty great. So says I. Uh, okay, great. Uh, let's see now. Large foghorn, can't afford that, but buggy. We can certainly afford one of those. Ping! Um, for ease, uh, Will has uh, uh, links to the Nice Witch's um, Twitch channel in chat. Brain. Brain not work. Examine. Buggy! We need more compound, eh? We can find compound, that's no problem at all. There was some earlier. At the place where we found it. You'll also need to print a small seat. Yeah! Yeah, I will. Large rover seat? No. Where's the small one live? Button repeater, generator, la la la. Rover seat! 
Need, right, so we need three compound in total to make a buggy and a seat for the buggy. I see compound, I see France, I see planets and their parts. Guess your compound. Come on, guess it. Compound. Yes. Guess one more. One more compound, please. Bartender, compound, please. Compound. Let's go make a car. Do 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 do. I messaged my friends about the fact I was streaming this earlier. Did I already mention this? And they were like, uh-oh. Maybe it's time we all go back. So that would be exciting if it happens. Okay. Oh, no. You want you to stay on there. Medium printer. Buggy. And then small printer. Small printer. I want you to make me a rover seat, please. This is going to go great. And then what would be great is if we could make a We'll make a small oh, we need more compound. Maybe we could just pinch a small generator. It's nice to pinch a small generator. We could also just give it Could also just give it the um Let's try and make. We'll get some more compound. Maybe we'll give it the solar panel from my backpack. Because where are solar panels printed from? Portable oxygenator? No. Oxygen tank? No. Small canister? Oh yeah. Power cells? Small solar. Small solar. We need need copper. We don't have any copper. <gasps> Do we have ceramic? We do. We've got some ceramic. Small wind turbine. Aha! Aha! Ha, ha. We can stick that on the buggy. Okay, we got the rover seat. We got some malachite. I know we've got some ceramic. Ceramic! Yes! Which means. Stick with me in this, everyone. Basically, what I'm doing here is I'm worrying about what happens if our car runs out of power. Uh. Because it would be bad. We wouldn't be able to drive it anywhere. We'd have to go back for power on foot, which would be dull. And then we'd have to... Um, uh, use words again. And we'd have to go back for power, which would be dull. Um, and we'd have to traipse all the way back out. But here's our car, look. And here's its seat. It's got these little modules on it. So currently, it's, it's got NAF all power. So... Soil printer can print out infinite ceramic with soil. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. We can... Oopsie. Uh, small generator would be useful, but if we actually use... Small printer. Small printer. Oh, no! Don't unconnect the small printer! Or disconnect, rather. Because that's what that was, that's what the smelter was connected to. Your ninny. Your sausage. Eh, eh. Come here. Move a little bit. This has been an exercise in not remembering a video game as well as I think I do. But that's fine. Right. Small printer. Rover seat. Small canister. Where did I just unlock that thing? Research catalogue. Small wind turbine. You just make it from your backpack, Johnny. Small wind turbine. Small wind turbine. Go. Nick Jeffrey has done another super chat saying, If you do get more compound, hopefully it won't be broken. We don't want to suffer a compound fracture, do we? No, we don't, because those things are fucking horrible. Really horrible. Like, really nasty. Okay, great. Look. 
is now wind powered. But also what I want to do is just in case, to give it a bit more juice, what we want to do is make a small battery. For which we need zinc. Come back, zinc. Laterite. Laterite quartz. Quartz. Where's the smelter gone? Have some of that. Laterite is for aluminium. Malachite. <gasps> we can make copper. We can make copper. Everybody shush. <laughs> oh dear. Zinc. There we go. There's the zinc. So then we can make a small battery. And there's also a battery not plugged in next to me as Clouded Mind has just reminded me actually. Look, here's one. Here's one I made earlier. So that goes there now. Uh, small, small wind turbine should be able to help eventually. We've got the uh, we got a, well we've got a spare battery on our back actually. So what we could do hmm eh, we're fine. Um. Is it a zinc or swim situation? Says Anonymous. Very good. Naka the Kitty says, Impressive we've crashed on a planet with all the same minerals as we have here on Earth. Something seems sus. Uh, D. Lonro says, Would a, a small generator not help in this situation since organic is like everywhere? Yes. There's also a mini RTG you can put it on a buggy. Uh, I will get to mini RTG territory in due course. But yeah, I want to make a small want to make a small generator. And for that, we need more compound. But also, for some reason, the game was telling me we should make um, copper. And I can't remember why. Let's have a look at the mission log, shall we? Fully charge a battery. Oh, we've done that. And we can have a splitter and some extenders. That's fun. Yeah, the spherolite. Spherolite? Spherolite. Okay, so there's loads more stuff that we should do, which is just useful and will help us explore the world. But first... Um, I just want to make a car and get enough research materials to make it go beep, 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 you know? Uh, so, where's a research card? Like, why did we need copper? Well, that's a mystery for another time, I think. We don't need a large rover. Buggy. Large foghorn. 4,000 bytes. Okay. Oh, so we need... Right, we need compound very easily distracted there apparently we need compound um, and we just need we just need research we need bites we just need bites we needed copper for solar panels wasn't it yes it was thank you my friends um, I'm going to deputize you now chat chat you are now officially my short term memory because um, my short term memory is not not treating me well right now apparently Small solar. There we go. There we go. Right, you know what? I'm going to put the dynamite down. So I'm not sure I need it. Got another small solar there. Which I might actually... Uh, whoops. Might actually just pop on here. Might maybe add a bit more power to the circuit, circuit thing. I need to make bigger generators. But first, right, what am I doing? We've got a car somewhere. Let's go fuck around in it. Oh, also, that's some compound. We need that. <laughs> Help! My head! Oh, it's six o'clock! Oh, we can go on a break! Oh, shit, yeah! All right, it's six o'clock, everybody. Oofed. So, I'm going to gather some compound. But most importantly, I'm going to disappear for five to seven minutes so I can turn on the air conditioning unit and try briefly to cool down this room. I'm also going to get a beer because frankly if my brain's already this messed up, what's a little alcohol going to do? 
But uh, you should uh, have a think about what you want to do in the next five to seven minutes. Do you want to... Uh, do you need a drink of anything? You probably do. It's very warm if you're in the UK. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, are you hungry? Are you too warm? Are you too cold? Do you need to do some stretching? Is there anything you need to do in the next five to seven minutes that will enhance your enjoyment of the rest of this stream? If so, go do it now. If not, don't worry. There will be some smooth jazz and a picture of my dog. So I'll be back in five to seven. Ooh. And uh, we'll carry on with this slightly chaotic stream of Astroneer, in which I feel like uh, we're making progress. Our ultimate goal is make ca make cargo shout, and we will get there, so help me. So back in a bit. Bye! <laughs>
Hello everybody, um, welcome, sort of, like, half welcome back to this stream on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Keedini. I say half welcome back because obviously I'm talking and you can see me, but as you can probably hear I also haven't turned off the air conditioning yet. I'm going to do that in a second, but first, just before I forget, Ticey has done a super chat. The super chat has a smiley face. It's got an equal sign and then a closed bracket, so a little smiley face. Uh, that's nice. So, I'm going to turn off the AC now, and then I'll be right back. So, hold on. I'm also just kind of curious as to how big of a difference it makes to the mic. Just hang on. So, like, I'm going to turn it off now. And that, to me, is a big difference to the noise in the room. How about for you? <laughs> Also, I'm wearing shorts. I fucking hate wearing shorts. This is what I've been reduced to. Benny42. Hello, Benny. It's been a long time. Says, no, Johnny, the AC, it really chills the vibe. People saying, leave it on, it's fine. It's almost no difference. Fucking yes! <laughs> Beep! I could fucking... They aren't jorts, are they? No, Monica Lockpit, they are not jorts. Can hear the AC, but it's not loud enough to make a difference. That's just saved my summer. It's no so but fine, I think. Keep cool. <sighs> All right. Great. Well, that's good. Oh. <laughs> it's about as tuneful as the game soundtrack, to be fair. Uh, accurate. Right, okay. Oh my god, that's incredible news. Oh my god, I might actually might actually make it through this summer. Right, so. Um priorities. Um priorities include right, what's gonna give us lots of bites or whatever it is? as a reward for doing it. No, not that, or that, or that, or that. We want to unlock as many, Aha, okay. Make larger battery, battery, gather lithium. We need to find some lithium. We need to find some lithium, but mostly we just need to go around being a cool research pal. Because if we research stuff, we'll get more but bites or bits or whatever they're called. Look, it's going very slowly again. So we need more organic. The the more brain points we pick up, the faster we can unlock a car horn and then make the car go honk. Ah yes, lithium's not on this planet. Thank you very much, uh, clouded mind. Ah, clouded mind. That's what I've got. All right, then we're going to have to just make bites or whatever they're called the old-fashioned way. Researching things and doing things. Ah. Oh. All right. Untitled Goose Car says King Cartoffle. Now you're getting it. Aiden Folks has done a... Uh, super sticker. The super sticker is of our friend the murderous pair. The murderous pair is kind of like just going like uh, uh, back and forth with the word cool uh, over their head, which I think is a reference to the fact that I've got the air conditioning on, which is still quite loud. I feel like for me, look at us, we're in a car. Does it go honk? Not yet, it doesn't, but it will. Um, for me, it is, it is ever slightly too loud. I do feel like, in general, if I can have the uh, sound off I will um, sound the AC off I will but to, to be honest with you today I need it yesterday was a hello yesterday was a disaster it was a, an absolute write off uh, because um, now I can't stick it on this buggy which is annoying it's very annoying actually because I want to we should make a trailer we should make a trailer Yes, 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 yes. Um, 
Yesterday was a write-off. I didn't do a single thing. I had to cancel everything I had lined up for the day. I had to have a nap. Um, I stayed indoors with the AC on all day. And uh, I was still just feeling absolutely dreadful in a heightened state of, uh, uh, frankly, emotional distress, which was not fun. Oh, there's so much useful stuff here, like a medium solar panel. Should have grabbed that earlier, shouldn't we? Um, but yeah, if we make a little trailer for the buggy, that'd be amazing. Right. Where are we going? Right. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. All right, my little pals. Fuck off. Get on there, you. We need more little platforms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually. I'm sorry about... I'm sorry I said that. Oh, no, that works. Okay, great. It's not... It's not converting wind into power right now, but it will. It will. Trailer can't be on a buggy, says Gamer Cat. Thank you again for your wondrous knowledge. Uh-oh. Car is... Car is over here. Okay, that's good. Phew. There is lovely car. But basically, yeah, stuff like that, very, very useful. Wandering around in-game, very, very handy. Can't remember what else I was going to say. But look, we've got a car now, and that's good. As memory serves, that's some bad plant. Try stepping on one of the red things, says Cloud in Mind. This should end well. Ow! Thank you! I do remember those things, actually. Right. When you get bigger vehicles, you can put, like, drill attachments onto them and, like, pavers as well. So we had one car before that you could just drive down and it would not only mine and gather materials, but it would pave the way for you. It was absolutely incredible. What is this stuff? Let's find out. Hmm... Research item, is it? Now, the thing is... Right, no, not compass. Okay, look, we are earning bites. That's great. Thanks, research stuff. Mm. But that's so far back to base. Mm. You know what? We can find research stuff closer to home. What we'd, li what we'd like to find, actually... I think, I think, is, uh, well, it's whatever we want, actually. The horizon. Bring me that horizon on a... S no. That guy's a cock, isn't he? Uh, let's go have a look at the sky over there. How's that? Flip buggy. It's just like playing Halo. Look, it's another one of the things. Hello, the things. One of our missions is to... Um, one of our missions is to activate one of these. And I know it can be done, but I do not know how, because my friends did it, not me. I was too busy back at base camp, playing mother. Ah, but look. Right, we'll park here. We'll just park here. We'll build ourselves a little... Pass through here. Yeah. Okay. Who's right? Look at this. Look at this. Look. Look at this. Look. Look at this. Look at this. Cable plug. Cable plug. Oh, I remember. That's right. That's right. We had to um. You have to just uh, bring bring it mega batteries. You need a platform and a power source, says Gamer Cat. That's right. I remember. 
A random L says, well, boyfriend just walked in and turned off the stream to put on wrestling, so I guess I'll catch the rest on VOD. Love you all. Dump him, a random L! <laughs> I'm joking. I hope you have a lovely time watching the wrestling, I guess. And catch you on VOD. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> uh. Oh god, no, don't chat, don't get him don't you do it as well. It was a joke. I'm sure Random L's boyfriend has many positive characteristics. Listen <laughs> oh god. I don't wanna ruin a relationship just because I thought it'd be funny. I wanna ruin it because I mean to upset someone. That was also a joke. Right, how are we doing on the old bits? Right, we're not we're now not earning anything. This is what I was worried about. We need to God the compass is good, isn't it? What we need to do is go back and do more research. And we're leaving all this resin by the mountain size. Ugh. Griffin Rayner says, Johnny, you interrupted my writing with that joke. Good. Sorry, not sorry. Chaos says, I go and eat one dinner and I come back to a buggy. What delightful progression. I know. Eventually, we'll have enough money for... We'll have enough smarts money. We're a quarter of the way to getting the horn. Oh. <laughs> Phrasing. What is this we've got here? What are you? What are you? What are you? Tell me! I can't can't mine any of it, because I've already got too much stuff. Unless... <laughs> Fuck off, organic. What are you? Oh, I literally don't know. Okay. <gasps> yes! A shell, that's what we need. Stuff that we can just scan. A whole 44 bytes. We're rich! Ah, no, that's not all we want. We want the compass. That's right, we're back in the woods that are hard to drive through. Anonymous says, to be fair, if you get a horn, you'll be one step closer to being a rhino. Shit. Didn't even think of that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nobody panic, please. Yeah, it's going great. It's going great. The impassable woods. That's fine. Who says they're impassable? Me? Just because I can't get through them? Nonsense. I never met a statement I made that I couldn't immediately prove wrong through sheer force of will and self-sabotage. Ah, come on, yes. Ooh, not looking so impassable now, are you, the woods? And all it took was a 23-point turn. That's... hello. Scan you. Uh-huh. Find and use research samples. I wonder if I fucking do. Scan you. Where are you hiding, you little snail bastards? What's in this? Okay, what's worrying you? She's not like me yelling at the snails. There's no one there. There's no one there, otherwise you'd be barking your head off. So just chill. The dog is very alert all of a sudden. Oof. Anyway. Oh, we've done it again. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> Manuel Rivera says, Johnny, where did you get your driving license? Joke's on you, Manuel. I don't have one. Never bothered learning. Well, actually, I did bother learning. But then uh, a friend of mine uh, died in a car accident. And I thought, I don't need to learn to drive, actually. And so I didn't. Sorry, that was probably a little bit heavy out of nowhere. But uh, that's what happened, all right. Uh, let's see. How far are we from home? 
Steel Ulnerer says dog alert for, uh, for no reason. Definitely means you have ghosts. Ah, oh, good. Just about the time I start talking about my dead friend. Uh-oh. Um, now let's see. Home is that way, but how far is that way? Uh, quite far. So there we go. Oof. Uh. Kale says, also owning a car in London is like owning a goat when you live in a submarine. It would in niche cases be useful, but mostly it's an expensive nuisance. Indeed. Although I have to say, right, um, did I... Dillon Rose says, uh, oof, that was definitely not intentional on my part. No, I, I know, D. Sorry, I didn't mean to make it seem like I thought you were joking about that. Uh, for one thing, it was... 17 years ago now, so like it's one of those things I, you know, I can talk about, it doesn't mist me up or anything um, but another thing, like yeah, uh, yeah, that's not what you meant and I'm sorry that if I made anyone feel like you were being flippant about it I know you weren't, no need for oof, you are fine and good Ooh. um I don't think I've talked about this before. It's a fascinating thing, right? So, like, a few times a day, I will take uh, the pickle out to go to the toilet. We walk up a particular road. Um, uh, Manuel says, sorry to hear that, Johnny. Didn't mean to bring it up. You didn't. I did. It's all good. Honestly, do not worry. I wouldn't have brought it up if I wasn't comfortable talking about it. Um, but, yes, we've done a quest. Um, yeah, so, right, when I take, when I take this, the, the little hoggle out to go to the toilet, her ears just pricked up, um, we go up this particular road. Now, this particular road, um, has one of those bays for, like, um, when you are, uh, you rent a car. Um, I won't say what company it is, because I'm not a grass, um, and I don't want them to sort of start trying to find these people, but, basically... Three separate occasions now I've seen a couple of dudes using the app to unlock a car, like a rental car, which you can drive around for a couple of hours for a, uh, a small fee. They're not, they don't drive it anywhere. They rent this car and they unlock it so they can sit in it and just take loads of NOS, loads of nitrous oxide with the balloons. <laughs> so they just, honest to God, I've seen several times now I've seen these people just, like, either unlocking the car or already in the car, just, like, ripping a big fat balloon of laughing gas. And it is so funny. Like, obviously, you know, not great for your health. Can be quite dangerous. Uh, nitrous oxide, that's why dentists don't use it anymore. But I walked past it today. I walked past the bay where these cars are, and there were two more enormous canisters. I'm talking, like, fucking huge canisters that are just empty. They just say fast gas because they're just like, do you want to go to the rental car and do some nos? And that's what they do. It's what it's just what they do with their time, and it's the most bougie way of taking nitrous oxide I've ever heard. It is extremely funny. Every time I even think about it, I start laughing. And today was another one. I said today I saw more discarded canisters next to the car next to it and I was just like <laughs> it's very funny Lucy says wouldn't getting a hotel room be better at about the same cost uh, no it's it is definitely cheaper uh, to get a car than a hotel room <laughs> it's just the oh my god it's the brass balls it's very funny it's yeah extremely funny <sighs> um, anyway uh, where were we yeah, that's right we were checking up on our research. We're not earning loads of research right now. Oh, we could probably do with putting some more organic in the old uh, fast thing. Clouded Mind says abolish rich people. I don't even think these people are rich. 
Like, they just seem like pretty normal guys to me. But clearly they are happy with their disposable income to just... That's some NOS. Uh, right. Oh, we can just... Oh, we can just explode the dynamite. Well, let's go explode some dynamite. And boom goes the dynamite. Don't look at the explode. Yeah, that was fun. Ah, oh, that was kind of not... wasn't amazing, was it? Eh, it was a pretty fast way of getting some compound, I suppose. Right. We might suffocate, so let's just nip back. Nip back here. Ah. Uh. But hey, I mean, you know, like, people will pay to go to a fancy bar, right? And they'll, you know, they know they're paying more than if they just drank at home. So, why not <laughs> rent a car? It's very funny. Um, okay, we, mm, at this rate, might, ah, we should, should be able to get ourselves a large foghorn, which is 4,000 bytes. Let's see if there are any missions we can do. Mission log. No, we can't get lithium on this, this here planet. We can find a way to power the strange structure, but that's going to be... It's going to be a, a whole big thing, isn't it? Let's just find something we want to build next and go from there. How about that? So, medium printer. What would be fun? We've already got a buggy. Search chamber. Actually, we should look in the research thing, shouldn't we? Turn in the mission you finished. Oh, yeah, I finished the mission. Thank you. <laughs> God, I'm awful. Here we go, a sampling. Yay, I got three tethers. That was not worth it. I got lots of compound, though. Jane Cluett has done a super chat. The super chat reads, Any chance you could tell us a bit about questing time? I was at download that weekend, gutted to miss my two biggest dm inspirations sharing a table. Right, so, for those of you not aware, questing time, I talked about this a little bit on Monday. Was uh, is, is a, a show, uh, is live streamed. There's also... Uh, Twitch, uh, sorry, fucking hell, it is a live show, it is not recorded and not streamed, so you can't watch the session that just came and went, but there is a streamed element to Questing Time, so if you go to questingtime.com, it'll be linked to the Twitch and all that kind of stuff. It is GM'd by a lovely man called Paul Foxcroft, who is one of the most startlingly intelligent people I have ever met, uh, and he is a great, great GM. Um, so we had just a really fun time doing it, um, and... Uh, <laughs> Our ultimate quest was to uh, vanquish a uh, magic douchebag uh, who was uh, known by the name of Jamie Sunstone. Uh, the very legally distinct, I hasten to add, name, Jamie Sunstone. Um, and so we did some of that. Uh, my character was called Informo. Informo uh, is a, uh, a warforged uh, bard. Um, who used to run an information desk, um, but is now a freewheeling adventurer, who talks like this. Um, very early on in the, um, the episode, because it was established that I, uh, in the session rather, it was established I don't sleep, so I brewed coffee for everyone in my tummy, which then obviously led to it being established that I had a uh, valve, shall we say, on the front of my groin that could shoot out a jet of hot coffee. That's eventually how Jamie Sunstone died at the end of combat. He was blasted off a tower with a five-foot-wide jet of uh, of piss coffee. Um, other party members included a uh, big Shannon, who was a goblin ranger, uh, who had a dog that was just not not very well. <laughs> that's all. Um, there was uh, Doctor Thrombosis who was played by Jeremy from um, the Three Black Halflings podcast, who's just incredible. Like, an honestly phenomenal player. I was just like, oh, I am so out of my depth here. Um, oh, um, Big Shannon, I should say, was played by Poppy Hilstead, um, who has a podcast, which I understand is very, very, very good. 
Uh, and there was Nick Sampson as well, who is an improv uh, comedian uh, who has a show coming up in Edinburgh, I think. Uh, they were all just lovely people, and we were just having a very good time just being very, very silly, basically. It was great. Um, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. I giggled for... I just la I laughed my ass off the whole time. Hello, a researchy thing. Let's go find what we need to feed this thing in order to open it up. Sometimes you need to charge them. <gasps> you need to charge it, look. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Make ourselves a little ramp. We need to charge it. Ah, but we need to charge it with like a proper generator, don't we? Rather than just. We need to. So this is a. Oops. Oh, wait. Can we just pick it up? No. Okay. Maintain desired power input to unlock. Uh, so, for that, we need to make, um, oh, oh, that's a fun thing we can do. All right, cool, cool, cool. Never mind, everybody. So, what we're going to do is we can make a packager. Uh, or do we even need to make a packager? We just print fresh stuff. Hmm, interesting. Gamer Cat, you keep saying RTG. I'm afraid I don't remember what RTG means. Rutger. Rutger Hauer? RTG. Retractable the Gathering. Righteous the Gremlin. Riley Murray is in chat and says, Hello, Johnny and LSPs. Hello, Riley. I hope you're very well. Radio thermal. A radio thermal generator is the nuclear generator. I'm not going to be able to make a nuclear generator before the end of this stream. I've got a, I've got a, I've got a, uh, car horn to build. Are you kidding? Oh shit! We need more research stuff. What can we research? <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, Snorfin Bass says Artelsorian games. Very good. I liked that one a lot. <gasps> Mineral, come here. Right thigh gravy, red talon gunners. Ring the grampus. You're all very good at this, has to be said. Right. Research material. We're just researching enough stuff until we know how to make a car horn. That's my, ah! That's my entire reason for being. Right now, as an astronaut. That's it. That's all I need. That's all I want. That's all I've ever wanted. That and enough organic to keep running the generators at quick speed. You right there, Watson? Organic. Revolver Ox says, do you have the required mineral to open the cache thing you found at the start when you suffocated? What a great question. Maybe. I think it was laterite, so probably. I think it was laterite, anyway. Um, let's see now. No, not that. Click backpack. Click thing. Go on, go a bit quicker. Go a bit faster. This is not a well-optimised base, but in fairness, the last time I did this, I had several friends with me, and I wasn't streaming. Chaos says, Johnny, have you played Vampire Survivors yet? It's very hard to describe, but it is a bit, it is a bit like if Gauntlet were a bullet hell game. I've seen many, many gifts of this. This is the thing where you are the bullet hell, right? Is that, is that, am I sort of... Rem rem remembering that correctly. I think we should go this way. Wait a minute, we need laterite if we're going to go that way. Come on, Johnny, get with the program. The program is make a foghorn so that the nice witch will be proud of us. GamerCat says, RTG recipe is one nanocarbon alloy, one lithium, unlock cost is 12,500 bytes. 
No, no, no! We need to get 4,000 bytes so we can unlock the Foghorn. That is the only thing about which I care. Much as I would like to unlock that thing. <gasps> Things to research. Tell me of your secrets, snail. Mmm, yes, give me your information. Crack you open and eat the tasty bites within. Hello, you. I've come to feed you laterite, maybe. Mankoy says, once we unlock the foghorn, is there a leghorn upgrade? If there isn't, I think, let's face facts, we're all kicking off, aren't we? Laterite. Num, 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 num. You need fucking how much? Right, back we go. Oops. All of your abilities proc at regular intervals instead of you controlling it. You kill tens of thousands of enemies per 30 minute run. You kind of have to bullet hell around the enemies. Interesting. I should try this. It is actually on Game Pass. Um, I think it's just a preview, so it's not the full game. But still. Exciting. Right, we need more Lacerite. Why did you open it without looking inside? Was it open? I thought you had to feed it enough so it popped off. It's not it's not full yet. Right? The the thing's not full yet. It's not it's not finished. And it wants to eat more delicious laterite, doesn't it? It popped? Ah oh, what? Oh, I want to feed it more laterite. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh well. That's how you make it go pop. Alternate crafting. Soil centrifuge. Oh yeah, the soil centrifuge. Recycles debris. The shred. I love the shredders and the trade platform. Why? Yeah, why don't I unlock these things? Silly me. Oh yeah, look at that. What do we get? Eh. It was kind of worth it. Right. Okay. Uh, let's see. How are we doing on the old research? Oh, look at us. Look at us go. We're going to have a fucking horn in no time. Which is good, because actually I'd quite like to um, unlock a shredder. And uh, a soil madu. So soily muck thing. And I've always found this thing a nightmare to... Um, Navigate, to be perfectly honest with you. Large printer, smelting for soil centrifuge. Oh, we could build one right now. Oh, do we have any aluminium? I don't know if we have any, you know. Chemistry lab. Atmospheric condenser. Do we have aluminium? I don't know if we do. Look at us. Look at us. Oh, my God. Where's the car? Go get the car. Car's over there. All right, run to the car. Boing. Scatterbrain Weirdy says, I love catching Johnny live. Their overall vibe is what I need right now after a somewhat rubbish week at work. I'm sorry to hear about your rubbish week at work. I'm glad that I can offer uh, assistance by just generally speaking being a bit fucking weird <laughs> when it's hot. Slash in general. Okay, have we done it? Ugh, we need more research stuff. We have to research things. Back down the mine! Is this an optimum way to play? Heavens no! Is it the way we're playing? Yes! Into the mine! Is this isn't the mine. It's a planet. You got to get down the planet. It is a gift. Levi Coffee has done a super chat saying it has been a stressful 24 hours. Thank you for thank you for providing levity and entertainment. You are very welcome. Is everyone having a bit of a time at the minute? It's sort of it's another one of those ones like a few weeks ago when everyone was like ha 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 exams. Has a bit of a time just kind of snuck up on everybody? It's starting to feel that way a little bit. I hope everyone's all right, um, and I hope watching me sort of. 
struggle to keep my shit together on this stream is proving cathartic, if nothing else. Boing! Yeah. Yes. Yes. I am so sleepy. Yep. It very much feels like that in my sphere at the minute. It, yeah, it's just one of those ones, isn't it? Where it's just like, ooh, research thing. Um, it just feels like we've reached one of those points where everyone's like, how, I'm sorry, there's how much more of this to go on? How much more are we doing of this? Oh, the rest of our lives, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, all right. Well, that's, that's a choice. <gasps> Aluminium. We can build a soil centrifuge now. Great. Soil centrifuge is very good. Happy Thought says, full moon shenanigans. I forgot it's a full moon at the minute. With the chemistry lab, you can titanium alloy to make a hydrazine jetpack. I just want to research things. I must know what the loud horn sounds like. Also, what is this thing over here? I want to know what this is. How do I open you? What do you need? What do you want? <gasps> More laterite. But there's laterite right here. Latter right here. Ah, fuck. <gasps> I fucking died. Shit. Okay. Whoops. But, oh, oh dear. Sorry about it. Uh, we died real close to the tether line then. So we should be okay. So help me. We're gonna get this foghorn. Neck of the Kitty says, wait, we died. How? Uh, I made a plant explode. Oops. Compass. Compass Mentis. Uh -huh. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, look where you're going. No, well, that's the wrong one. A research item. Let no one say I can't be distracted immediately. No matter what's going on in this game. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Ethan Blomquist has done a super chat saying, Can confirm, it's definitely been a time recently. However, it's nothing watching a bit of chaos Johnny can't cure. So thank you for being you. But Doctor, I am Pagliacci! No, I, thank you very much, Ethan. Um, that is a very nice thing to say. I'm very, genuinely very, very glad that uh, streaming and just being a little bit daft on the internet can be a tonic to people as and when they need it. Um... God knows there's enough awful shit going on in general. Uh, people don't need it. Laterite. We needed laterite for the thing, but also we need to go back to where we died. Alex Gray has done a super chat saying, My son is very unwell at the moment and has been for a week, and I'm getting over COVID. You always bring me so much joy. Thank you for that, Johnny, with a heart emoji. Alex, I'm very sorry to hear about um, your son being very unwell and that you've had COVID. That is uh, bad timing. Um, all round, I would say. Um, I sincerely hope that both of you um, feel a lot better very, very soon. Um, but thank you very much for the kind words. I'm, um, I am uh, glad to be of assistance, however that assistance may be brought to people. That's where I was when I went. Uh, Carrie Choi has done a super sticker. The super sticker is of the pair. Nobody panic. The pair does not have a mug full of blood on their person. Instead, uh, the pair has some sunglasses on their face, possibly to hide their identity. Nice try, pair. We know it's you. Um, and they are repeatedly pulling down those glasses and going, Hey, you! As if to say, Hey, you! Um, thank you very much, Carrie. That's very, very kind. Uh, uh, oh, no! Hang on. I miss... I missed my B-reel. Hold on. Post a B-reel. This is going to be a late, but... Hey! Uh, uh, do it. Yeah. Uh. Oh no, I'm getting hurt. Uh, oh, that was awful. Is everyone aware of the, the social network Be Real? I hate to say it, but it's great. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's an oxygen thing on this. How do I transfer more things? Give me the stuff. Where's my oxygen tanks? I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, shit. Where are the tethers? I need tethers. Wait, oh, am I just going to die in the same place? That's embarrassing. Come on, come on, come on. Back we go, back we go. Fuck. Oh. Um, right, be real. 
Oh wait, hang on a minute. Cookie Cat ninety four has um done a super chat saying your astronaut died. Guess it's time for someone to write an obituary. Very good. Okay, so Be Real is a social network that is well. Is, is it even? It's just it is is a fun and silly app. Um, the app is basically talking about how it's like, you know how everyone feels pressure because, you know, people on Instagram are like, oh my god, I'm just having the best time doing this thing that I always do. And it feels like no one's like being, wait for it, like real? Um, oh, that's how you do it. That's how you do it quickly. I remember it's all coming back to me now. Tethers, right. We need to lay some tethers down because this is really annoying. Um, but first, we need to scan this and possibly go the wrong way. Yes, that's the wrong way. Be Real is an app. Um, but basically, just once a day, you get a prompt going like, it, I mean, it's quite annoying. It says, it's time to be real. And what you do is you grab your phone and you point it at something and it takes a picture with the front camera, then the camera facing you, and it uploads it. And only once you've done that are you allowed to see what... Uh, Every, oh, it doesn't need ladder, right? It needs power. Well, that was a fucking waste of my time, wasn't it? Um, uh, only once you've done that can you see what other people have posted. Uh, and you can do little reactions. Oh, there was this one. This one! This one wants the mineral! Um, only once you've done that can you see uh, what... Insert appropriate... Yeah, I've got the appropriate. Only once you've done it can you see what other people have posted. Um, and it's just quite cute. Like, I've only got a few friends on it, but we're all just like, hey you, and we leave each other comments, like, being like, this is a nice photo of you, or you can, yes, eat my bites, or you can, uh-oh, shit, compass, 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 or, like, uh, you can, you can do, like, a reaction emoji, but it's actually your face, it's just, I like it, it's silly, but it's fun. Um, but I hadn't, I, I posted mine five minutes late because I didn't see the notification because I was busy. But that's the thing. For large foghorn, you need one plastic, one rubber and one steel. I don't have any of these fucking things. Oh, I'm going to fail the nice witch. Shit. Damn it. Ugh. Fuck. Okay, alright, well... We're making a brave attempt at this, anyway. Let's go back up to the surface. Let's see what we can do. I mean, for one thing, we still need more research things. No, wait, we're about to break the wall. Um, We're about to get to 4,000. Uh, Lucy says, how many tries do you have at taking the picture? Basically as many as you want, but um, the app will say whether you posted it when you got the prompt. Basically, when you get the prompt and you click it, you've got two minutes to take a take a be real. Um, and if you post one late, it just says how late you were. So sometimes it'll be like five minutes late. Sometimes it'll be like 12 hours late. Like I had a nap the other day and so my be real was three hours late and it was just me in bed looking bleary eyed. It is actually very, very low pressure, but the idea is that it's a tiny burst of your day because everyone gets a thing and they go, Bleh! and then you spend five minutes going, ha, that's what they're doing, and then you put it away and you forget about it until tomorrow. This is cute. I like it. Okay. Ah, the trade platform. You can trade. Thank you, Gamer Cat. Okay, right. Research catalog. It's probably on the large printer. Soil centrifuge. Where's the trade 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 platform? Well, it's not going to be in buggy, is it? Is it in massive thing? Extra large printer. Sensor ring. Extra large. I don't remember extra large platforms. Or do I? No, we must have made those. Okay, how to making trade platform. Where does it live? There's the RTG, look. Everyone loves an RTG. 
Need scrap to trade? Yes. Well, that means we need the muncher. The, uh, uh, the thing I like. The shredder. We don't have an exo chip. Are you kidding? Let's build a medium one then. Medium printer, medium shredder. Iron! <sighs> I was doomed from the start. Silly me. How dare I think I could just build a horn. How dare I? Okay, medium shredder. Can we make a small shredder then? Is there a small shredder? There can't be a small shredder. But then the, the existence of a medium shredder... <gasps> small trumpet horn! Well, shit! I mean, it'll have to do. Wait. Oh, no. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Okay. Uh, uh, eh? Eh? Oh, can you even hear that? You must be able to hear some of that, right? Well, that was worth it. <laughs> okay, all right. Phew. How? How? Shelter. Okay, right. Um, it's the lunar horn, says Mankoy. As in my cat. Sounds like, to be honest. Uh, solid fuel jump jet. Hoverboard. Hoverboard. This is new. I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm gonna have to tell my friends about that. Oh shit, did my B Real not post? Oh my god. I'm not sponsored by B Real. Sometimes the app's fucking annoying, actually. Brian Mallard! Hello, Brian. Uh, has done a super chat. The super chat reads Hi, Johnny. Sorry, I've been catching it catching most of your vids on VOD, and I will catch this one on VOD also, but I just dropped in because I thought I'd let you know that I sent you the ball. You sent me the ball cards! Brian! Where are they? I moved them earlier. Here they are! Yes! Brian, thank you so much. They are lovely. They're really, really nice. Um, I truly appreciate them. They are delightful. Right. Um, what was I, what was I going to do? Uh, Brian has done another super chat saying, I collect playing cards myself, and when I saw those, I thought, they are Johnny, and I couldn't not get them for you. I'm glad you enjoy them. P.S. Astroneer is great. Thank you so much, Brian. I really, really appreciate it. They are a delight. Um, I'm a big, big fan of them. Um, right, hang on a minute. Okay, so, right, here's the deal. Medium gas canister? No. Medium shredder. We need iron. Convert shreddable items into scrap. Yes, but we need iron. How do we get iron? Iron is smelted. You can smelt it with a smelter using everyone's favorite ore, ironite. Um, I swear I used to know these things. Iron is smelted from... I just... Not to bang on about it. Hema hematite? Is it hematite? Hematite! Do we have hematite? I was, I was yelling at a lot. I was yelling at so many things. Hemat it is hematite. I was yelling at so many different things earlier. I cannot remember if we found hematite. I don't think we did. Riley Marie says, Johnny, can I ask what your favourite colours are? Uh, I Oh, because red like blood like iron. Hematite. Yeah, that's it. I remember Hematite from this game also. Um, 
<clears throat> Riley Marie says, Johnny, can I ask what your favourite colours are? You know what? It used to be blue, uh, but actually, I would say purple is my favourite colour. Um, it's uh, just a good old colour. Brian Mullard says, are we waiting for the French accent to help? Nah, fuck it. It's open season. I knocked over my storage earlier. There's no fucking hematite on it. You can get a trade. You can get a trade platform to trade resources. Okie dokie. How do I get a fucking trade platform? That's my question. Because I was just looking for it. Ah, there it is. Trade platform. Exo chip. How do I get an exo chip? I've researched a trade platform anyway. Roswell Walton says, I could have sworn you found hematite. I swear the same thing. Riley Marie says, cool, I want to make you some dice. Oh, that'd be lovely. Thank you very much. Right. Whatever else happens, we're just... You know what? This is now that we're looking for hematite stream. With occasional breaks to do this. Oops. I swore it. I swore it laterite, didn't I? Thank you, buddy. Wrong legs. Let's go back down here. Why not? It's my favourite thing about this game: is having a mine where it takes fully three minutes to get to where you were were before. Exochips come from blowing up lock boxes and some other ways. I forget. Maybe in the science boxes. Exotic chips can be found if you blow up the black boxes. Well. Never you, never us mind that. We're just gonna do some more mining. Oh, what's over here? This looks like fun. Iron is on a different planet. I used to be good at this, you know. Let's just have a bim. You know what? Let's just bimble around. I've got an hour left. I'm not going to make the large foghorn. Maybe we'll find an exochip. We can find something to destroy. There. We can research some stuff if we want. Maybe we'll do that in a bit. Let's just bimble around. Let's just have a little bimble. Thomas, uh, Black Flame says, Mining makes me want to play Deep Rock Galactic. I played a lot of it and then I suddenly burned out on it. Uh, but actually, that has reminded me. Ages ago, I tried to play um, Vermintide 2 with Sam Greer. But uh, my computer couldn't handle it. But since then, I've got a new computer that should be able to handle it. So I should really get in touch with Sam and see if she's still up for um, playing some, some of the old... Some of that good old timey vermin tidy. What we got over here? Some debris. Carbon required? For what? For what? Because I've got some carbon. A medium jet. That's just a medium generator just sat there. Well, we shall have that. Shall we? Right, back we go. And Benton says, ooh, Vermintide. Yeah, bloody love Vermintide. You know what, I preferred the first one to the second one. There I said it, but um, I still really like that franchise. Uh, Zero Summation says, speaking of Vermintide, any thoughts on 40k Darktide? Um, yeah, I look forward to playing it. Want to play it, want to play it with my hands and my face. Um, hoping I can rope in a few friends to to play it with me. Some of the usual crew that I play things like Halo with, and Astroneer, etc., etc. Because yeah, I bloody loved it. Baddy Wrongleg says, laughing hurts with Rona, but worth it. Oh, my friend, I'm so sorry. Feel better soon. I'm sorry I made you laugh. Mm. 
Let's just hoof the generator back to the surface. I completely forgot how much there is to kind of planning out your route through the tech in this. Like, I forgot that, you know, irons is not available here, so do you want a shredder? No. You need to get the trading platform. For that, you need an exo... chip. For that, you need to be cleverer than I am. Now, the Kitty says, okay, so just got back. What's happened? Um, I've done some stuff and some things. Not all of it's been useful. Like that, for example. Large platform A, large platform B. Let's get some more resin. There's in. Why is my phone going off? Uh, 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 oh, we're out of resin. We're out. We're finally out of resin. You know, right? We've got a trumpet now, says King Cartuffle. You're absolutely right. So we do. Uh -huh. Ha! No, that's organic. Never mind. Of course, the trumpet. I'm sorry I forgot about the trumpet. Clouded Mind says, just go to another planet. That's the easiest way to get more resources. Uh, yes. Like, I, I know I have... I've played this before, but... My problem is, I've got less than an hour left on this stream, and I'm having enough trouble as it is... Stringing a sentence together. So then trying to make enough stuff that I get off-world, that's honestly, I'm not even joking, more than my brain can handle right now. So what I'm going to do is print up a large platform for the, uh, the generator that we got. I'm just go medium generator. Does that need to put it? No, it needs a large platform, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to print one off. And then... Um, We'll hook that up, feed it some uh, carbon, and then I'll see about finding an exochip. Because if I can find an exochip, we should be able to uh, maybe make a trading platform. Basically, yeah, look, trade platform. Exochip, iron. Oh, yeah, iron. Oh, yeah, iron. Oh, well, we can't do that, can we? Basically, what I'm saying is, like, don't expect competency from me right now. Here it comes. Slowly, but surely. I should really be printing more things like solar, uh, wind turbines and solar things and stuff. But again, strugs to funk right now. Strugs to funk. Research catalogue. Uh, large solar panel. Let's, let's, let's have a look at some medium things. Mm. Medium stuff. Lovely stuff. Could build, could build all of this in time. Extenders, splitter. We got one of those. Aluminium and ceramic. Oh, we can't afford to unlock a medium wind turbine. That's annoying. Small to there. Couldn't even get that sentence out. Small shuttle, you need two aluminium and 1500 bytes. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Oh, Strugs to Funk. Oh, sorry. People are, don't understand what that means. Struggling to function. Strugs to Funk. <laughs> I might have to knock this on the head, everyone. <laughs> My brain's gone. Um, 
the good news is, well, the bad news is, this is just the start of a heat wave in London. Um, but the good news is, I'm slowly going to adjust to it. And in time, I'll be able to stream without this happening. Because right now, my whole head is just going. So what I'm going to do is stop streaming um, and I'll catch you uh, on Saturday where there'll be new episodes of Press Any Chiodini and then again on Monday there'll be a painting stream it should be on Monday, it might, I might have to shift it to Tuesday, we will see um, but yeah, uh, wow the heat's just, no, the heat has just absolutely cooked my head, so I'm going to leave now uh, thank you all so much for watching and, and, and chatting and super chatting and all that kind of stuff. It has been great. It's been, this has been a weird ass stream. It really has. Um, but hey ho, I've got a Patreon if you want to check that out. It's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. Emma Benton has already put a link into the chat. It uh, is a very good way to support me directly. And uh, it means that I can keep doing this for a living, which... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Goodbye.